Oh, there it is. We're unmuted. Yay! Ladies and gentlemen, the Jacksonville Jaguars are undefeated. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 The dragons. And, and, and dragons. Not, 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 and dragons. <laughs> I recognize <laughs> that this is not typically the audience for sportsing. However, it is very related to uh, the current circumstance uh, because uh, it's in the freaking title. So, uh, hello, everyone. Um, my name is Jacob. You're walking Jacob on the internet. Um, I am your dungeon master for this absolute insanity. Welcome to episode five. Um, the dream continues. <laughs> so, um, one quick housekeeping note. Um, you may see that our, our awesome rogue is currently stealthed away for this particular episode. Um, so, Jeremy is, continues to be awesome and he will be back uh, next episode. So, um, send him some love, maybe a, a few hearts um, on the Twitter or the Discord or whatever. So, um, without further ado, what else do I want to do? Does anyone have anything announcing to do before we jump into introductions? I do. Okay. Jacob? Yes? I love you. <laughs> I love you too, Maddie. You are fantastic. <laughs> Thanks for letting me borrow your channel every other week. <laughs> hey, come on, man. You're awesome. So, Thanks. I love you. Thanks. You're awesome. You're awesome. So, and then there was four hours of just uh, everyone saying awesome, how awesome everyone else is. And that was the episode. Um, actually, I do have an announcement. Um, so, as a matter of fact, I um, have realized that I do not like maps. Typically, a little bitty part of dungeon mastering is maps and things, right? Okay. So, I have hired someone that you all know very well to do a bit of cartography. <laughs> Introducing the official Duval and Dragons cartographer. Jess, take it away. Oh, hi. Uh, um, um, I am Jess, aka Freckle Sketches on the Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I do cartography, generally. I'll, I'm dipping into cities and towns, just for our, our lovely Jacob here. Um, learning a lot, honestly. I literally just read your survey today and I was like, oh, ooh, ooh, cool. Okay, great. I can play with <laughs> later when we're actually in the town. So um, so that's delightful. Uh, it's cool to be the official cartographer. That's rad. Hell uh, yeah. I, I, need, I always need a title. Boosts the ego a little bit. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, who are you playing? I am playing Zakria, our uh, Fire Genasi Paladin. Hell yeah, you are. She's great and ridiculous and awesome. Um, best party mom of all time. Party mom. Um, party mom. So yeah, so thank you for doing that. And I can't wait to, because uh, I have to tell you. So uh, I was surprised because I was not expecting to, like we, she sent me some rough drafts and I like, it kind of blew my my fucking mind. I was like, "It's it's a real thing now." So, uh, so uh, we will uh, see what happens after that. Oh, Fenway, you. yeah, you're you quite welcome. Fenway, who are you and who are you playing? Uh, I am I'm Fenway. Um, <laughs> I am the founder of Jasper's Game Day. Um, a lot of you may know me. Uh, for putting on Jasper's Game Day online along with Thread Raiders and so many other cool people um, this past, I think it was like, what, like two weeks ago? 10 years ago, like, yep. Um, I was like, I don't, I don't even know, honestly. <laughs> um, and, uh, but yeah, I I do all of the, the Jasper's stuff. So you can find me on, on the, the social media um, at Jasper's Game Day or on Twitter uh, at Fenway the Team DM. And I will be playing Worst Greet, your lovely neighborhood Aarakocra monk, um, who has no sense of danger or responsibility. Um, oh boy. So, <laughs> yeah. Who needs it? Uh, not, not me, not me. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, 
Oh, and the goblin stole her candy, so that's what she's looking for this time. Oops. Yeah, and there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Yes, Fenway, thank you. Oh, give me a real quick. What was the, oh, and I'm, as I accidentally turn off my, my light over here. Um, what was the final amount um, for Jasper's game day? Uh, just over $51,000. Good freaking God. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Amazingness. Absolutely crazy. Ah, uh, man. Deck of Many yeah. Things pulls are really fun for charity. <laughs> you should totally do them in every charity stream. Just saying. Um, but anyway, Chris, who are you and who are you playing? Well, I'm Chris, your friendly neighborhood Montanan, playing Satur. You can find me usually running uh, around on the Twitterverse at, at Chris N and playing games over here, thanks to Maddie, and once in a while over at Thud Raiders. But uh, yeah, I'm just playing Satur, the half orc that seems to have a little bit of a some sort of a problem with his weapons and his hat. We'll find more of that later. <laughs> Perhaps we will. Maybe. Maybe. Maddie, this is your channel. Who the hell are you and who are you playing? I don't know. Um, <laughs> um, hold on. Um, where's my thing? Oh, there it is. Okay. You know, I I just um I don't I don't feel this. That's why I that sounds more like Rylo. There we go. Okay. So I'm Rylo. I'm a petitioning. I'm a halfling tiefling, sorcerer warlock, born of evil, made a pact with a celestial named Dane. And um, I'm from Lobra, and uh, in case, I don't know if anybody else knows this, or if everybody else knows this, um, but I'm going to, yeah, that is Lobra, the name of the land where I'm from, mm -hmm. Lobra, like, not like Cobra, it's so good, I love you, Jacob. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> um, and, uh, I have a dragon, and, um, I save, I saved Horace's life, and you've also saved Horace's life. Still don't trust him, but you know, I'll save his life. Yeah, like it's like uh, uh, Rylo's got like that uh, um, life-saving bingo. Like he's checked off for screen, checked off for it. Just the rest of the party ready to go. I so, love this party. I love this party so much. It is absolutely beautiful. It's ah, oh, it's so good. And last but certainly not least, Sean. Who the hell are you, and who are you playing? Howdy, folks. I'm no tweet Sean on Twitter. Uh, Obnox Sean on Discord. I'm one of the admins over at Thread Raiders, and um, I'm playing Horace Green Eye. Uh, and Horace, he uh, he's a dwarf. Um, he's been a dwarf as long as he can remember. Uh, but recently, he, he seemed to uh, get in quite a pickle and had to make a deal with someone a little unsavory. And he's, he's learned a little more about that fellow uh, as he goes. But um, overall, he's a stand-up guy. Okay. Well, perhaps. So, without further ado, let's go over what happened last time. As the party, leaving Friendship Canyon with this enormous steel ore in tow, uh, as was the plan, um, began to travel back south towards the capital city of Jayville, um, which is uh, just about half, typically half day's travel of, of sorts, um, if not for a bit of the rainstorm um, and a bit of the thunder and then the lightning, um, as uh, both uh, Satir and Devin and most of the party were trying to determine uh, whether they should camp for the night, head back into uh, grab um, the, or go via, um, via foot, or um, head back into the canyon and perhaps uh, meet with um, a few um, unsavory um, goblinoids that they had uh, become 
acquainted with, um, air quotes, definitely on purpose. Uh, and after discussing, they uh, made their way back to get their cart and uh, were then, of course, uh, greeted by um, a few of these floating magical, um, or one of the, the gob these magical goblinoid trios. Um, and after a short while, um, summarily um, dismissed it. Um, but uh, even though he hopes that they, uh, for lack of a better term, visit some time in the future. Um, so Tyr having uh, kind of been the pilot for uh, this travel, unfortunately ran um, off course just by a little bit, um, which unfortunately sent them careening off into uh, a small uh, ravine, uh, which would be probably okay with a bit of uh, insult to injury and a bit of a wagon issue if there wasn't. Um, a lovely family of Ankegs laying in wait just for fun. Um, the uh, Horace had the most fun, I must say, um, having uh, been grappled and then taken back underground. Um, <laughs> and, and, uh, and even though the party was for a moment deciding whether or not <laughs> to, to do anything about that, they eventually did what they probably perceived to be the right thing and take care of the Onkegs and make sure that everyone uh, was for the time being safe and sound as the party continued back traveling south to the capital of Javeville heading directly um, to the uh, armor shop known um, as Clangin and Bangin, 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 in apostrophe and um, both, uh, Johnny both greeted them as well as this new um, figure, a uh, gentleman by the name of Melchior, who um, introduced himself as sort of a weapons uh, contractor. Um, and the party then decided to uh, split up a bit, go a bit shopping, um, as uh, Warscreet um, is now missing a um, pretty large sack full um, of candy taken allegedly uh, by the Goblin Trio um, at, for whatever reason. Um, heading to Sweet Pete's, a few folks heading to uh, Blue Boys or, or Chic, depending on their sandwich preference, uh, and uh, planning to meet up later um, at their favorite watering hole, the Two Cats Inn. But before all that, so Tyr had a bit of a, a moment parting ways with um, Mary and Sue, uh, his uh, battle axe duo, so to speak, I think, I think it's fair to say. Um, and also had a bit of a conversation with Melchior, um, both audibly and seemingly internally, um, mentioning the blue orbs that were, uh, that the party had identified in Friendship Canyon. So, the early evening is yours. The thundering um, still overhead, the uh, very heavy rain having subsided. Uh, it's just a bit of thundering um, as you are greeted by the um, cobblestone streets of uh, the capital city. Um, but the after effects of this rain leaving uh, things to be very, very muggy and humid um, as folks are um, getting ready to head home for the evening or, or out for the evening, perhaps. Uh, it is a very large city. So with that all being said, what would you like to do? Um, Wur has told one of each, well, at least one person in each group of either going to, uh, I think she said Low Rose um, and Sheik um, to get her a sandwich at each place, at each place huh? um, and has headed over to uh, Sweet Pete's. Okay. So, which place are you heading to first? I was going to ask because I, I know that other other people were getting the sandwiches. Uh -huh. um, so whoever's going to the other, the sandwich places to get her one and then go to Sweet Pete's. Actually, so we're kind of so we're kind of picking up as you guys are leaving the armor shop. So that's certainly a, a conversation that could be had. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, as you're all having this conversation and deciding on what to do, um, Devin kind of speaks up. Uh, you know, I'm getting a bit of a headache, and uh, I need to have a little of a little bit of a little bit of me time. Um, I'll meet you back at the uh, either at the inn or uh, perhaps back back uh, back at the barracks later, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, kind of looks at everyone. You, well, you said you had a report to fill, if I'm not mistaken. Kind of kind of nods. Maybe go take care of that. We'll meet you. Well, if you've got a headache, you don't want to go to the inn. Stay at the barracks. Get some rest. Hmm. Problem is, is that I uh, still have to leave out of town and weather as we've already in intimated is a bit awful. Um, I could, but uh, I'll play by ear based off of how the weather is later this evening. You can borrow the horse. She's going to point to her horse. <laughs> kind of, he kind of <laughs> Eh, not really my style. As you wish. And uh, he takes, jumps over the railing and disappears. Some headache. <laughs> I'm sure he'll appear later, just like he always does. Certainly. <clears throat> Where are we all going? Like a fart in the wind. Um, so... I don't remember which of the famous places is which. So, so the Sheik is this small, red, um, almost like a like, uh, little bit hot, like bigger than a kiosk. Um, it's you know, covered in red and white banners and um, is um, famous for its uh, pitas and sandwiches. Um, and then right across the street is uh, Blue Boy's Sandwich Shop. Um, the only difference there is it's sort of matching sort of red, it's uh, blue and white, um, and it is known for its giant club sandwiches. Um, there's actually a sign outside um, that says to ask for the super club sub bet. But who had the, wasn't, weren't there like chili fries or something? There was chili at the, um, at the inn. Mm. Correct. Mm. Uh, who are the fish and chips? Also the inn. Also the inn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to the chic. I usually prefer the chic. The pita is unparalleled. I mean, I think I probably just want to eat at the inn later. Um, where you're going to go get some more candy? Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, what if, um, if Zakriya's going to the Sheik, she can pick you up a sandwich there. I can go to the Blue Boys to pick you up a sandwich while you go get your candy. I'm good. Yeah. What kind of sandwich do you want? Just like the thing? The thing with the Yeah. Okay. The, the, the big one. So, I can do that. And from the Sheik's. What? And from the shakes, what would you like from there? Whatever you're getting. Very trusting. I like it. All right. I like it. Okay, cool. So I'll do that. Is anybody else going to the blue boy? I suppose I should look after our little friend here. I'll go. <laughs> oh. Awesome. Cool. We don't get a chance to just talk one-on-one. Right, well, you enjoy that. Zakria's going to leave. She's going to be by herself for just a minute. She's leaving just right a, now. Just a, one breath. <laughs> as, on brand for her. As Rilo is leaving, um, Wur is going to have like a an odd moment of of mother bear over Rilo and go behave in his ear while he walks away with Horace. <laughs> I'm an angel. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, well, I made a path. Halo. I made a path with an angel. I'm pretty sure the horns on your head say something different. That's why I made the path with the angel. <laughs> <laughs> the horns hold up a halo. 
Perhaps we'll discuss making a trade. Making a trade? Yeah. You take a halo, I'll take your horns. How's that? <laughs> um, I, 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 don't, I don't know. I, what? Are you going to harvest my horns? <laughs> he, just, he just shakes his head and starts walking toward Blue Boys. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh Horace and Rhino, what are your passive perceptions? Eleven. Pretty sure my passive perception is terrible. Yep, it's nine. Okay. <laughs> because I'm proficient. <laughs> 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 wow. Good to know. So, you all um, are, you guys make your way down um, and uh, to, to just to the slight west um, to uh, make your way to the um, familiar um, uh, kind of center um, square and the, the actual pathways. Um, it's still quite busy. Um, there are a few um, kind of food vendors kind of calling out to you as you pass by, but you're on a mission. Uh, and you continue on down towards uh, the southwest to make your way to the um, small cobblestone street that ends with uh, the two rival uh, shops um, with Sweet Pete's back ending uh, the, sh the, the, uh, the street. Uh, and uh, you guys headed which place first? Blue Boys? Blue Boys. Oh, we're going to All Blue right. Boys. Yeah. All right. So, uh, so make your way to the right, and um, you are greeted, almost hit in the face by the, the smell of m almost melted cheese and mm -hmm. um, turkey breast. Um, and you are greeted by this very small, kind of um, gnomish looking. Um, creature uh and uh, he is kind of has this beautiful um black mustache bald head um but he has this like curved um uh chef's hat on so to speak and you see him kind of kneading dough uh oi welcome to blue boys uh my name is uh is harry uh your names Lyra. and this is Horace. All right. Hi there, well, buddy. It, yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Um, would you like to try the uh, super club uh, and uh, see if you can beat the time? It's free if you win. Um. Well, well, how, how hungry are you? Oh, and you've you've not been here before. It's typically oh. what we're famous for. All right. Well. Uh, um. I, um, I am. I don't understand a lot of things that I come across here. I'm not from around here. Um, oh. But I would like to take part in your traditions. Oh, so, well, that's... Yeah. Wonderful. That's great. Um, well, um, so here's the... So here's the thing. Just to give you a bit of an idea of what the situation is, and then uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. And he kind of points to the left and you see that there's this large wall covered in dr beautiful drawings of different people. You see all, all shapes and sizes and it says it's the, it says wall of fame. You see that? Those over there, those are, those are winners. Those are, those are the winners. So typically uh, it's three silver for this giant sandwich. And it's got everything that you can think of on it. All, all, everything that you can think of, it's on this thing. Turkey, salami, lettuce, tomatoes, mayo if you want, uh, bacon, Swiss, tomatoes. Um, we'll even throw in a bag of chips if you'd like. And uh, we can put it on the sub if you want. If you just want to feel, you know, 
bro. Now, here's the thing. This is how big this sandwich is. It could actually feed a family of four. It's typically costs three silver. However, if you're able to eat it on your own, not only is it free, your next two stops in are free as well. You just pay three silver for the deposit. And then if you don't finish, well, you got the rest left over for yourself and whoever else. You should go get work. I'm here to get a sandwich for my friend. Um, oh, well, where, where are you, where's your friend? So if I eat it, like, that doesn't really do her any good. Um, but here's the thing. If you do, I'll tell you what. Considering it sounds like you were here to do a bit of takeaway, so I apologize if I blindsided you in this situation. So why don't we do this? Why don't, if you win, we'll make your friend's sandwich for free. Oh. And will the sandwich that I just gave be for free? Yes. Instead oh. of it being this sandwich for free and then your next two visits, we'll just count your friend's sandwich as the second visit. Okay. So if I eat an entire sandwich, I get a free sandwich for my friend. Correct. And then a free one for next time as well. All right. I will do it. All right. And you, my friend, or would you care to join in in this insanity? Do you, do you have like a, a display? <laughs> do you have a display model of, of that sandwich that he's about to eat? As a matter of fact, I do. One second. I'd love I, to see it. I am going to send you guys a picture. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my Lord. Jesus. Is it on Discord? Uh, it, I'm actually probably going to throw it in the Twitch chat so folks at home can see it too. Um, if I can find the thing. Yeah, there we go. So this is, it's actually, <laughs> it's on the, the top left of, uh, of the actual, because this is based off of the actual, the shop does exist um, in Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, I'll throw it in there too. So if you look at the top left, um, he points to the display uh, underneath his, uh, his hands. He's actually standing on this like really large stool so that he can see everyone over the counter. And uh, he points at the uh, display model, if you will. Oh, wow. Um, okay. That's, that's, um, that's almost as big as I am. I must say, I'm most looking forward to see if you can tackle it. Um, as am I. <laughs> you'd be surprised. Um, I mean, I am part halfway, okay? I can put some food away. <laughs> well, well, so if you'd like, um, and of course I can, you know, complimentary uh, uh, water while you're trying to uh, make this effort. Don't want the throat to constrict and you're not able to finish from that perspective. It's all about the stomach. Excellent, water is great. It's the only ingredient you've listed that I recognize. You've never had turkey or ham or bacon before. We don't. I don't know what those words are. Um, kind of like looks to you, Horace, almost as like like in like this like. Who did you bring me with you? Horace is just stifling laughter. He's just like. So, uh, well, uh, we for, for six first things first. One thing down there. It's called slurp. And it's like a meat and veggie, vegetable kind of concoction. It's ground up and pressed into a, 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 a tube that's sliced. And that's what we eat. It's called slurp. It's delicious if you uh, pretend. Um, so this is fun. I'm down. Let's do this. The DM will make a note. <laughs> <laughs> Slurp. That feels very low, bro. Right? Hmm. Oh, is that is that where you're from? Well, oh, welcome yeah. to Jayville. Well, welcome to Jayville. Then. Very Thank nice. To, very nice to have you. Um, 
Anyway, uh, well, first things first, uh, that three solo, and uh, then we'll get the party started. Uh, oh, Forrest three solo. takes three silver out and puts it on the counter. He's, he's excited to see this. Oh, is that for you or for your, your small friend? Oh, oh that, that'd be for my friend, you know. Oh, um, I see. And is there something that I could, would you like one for yourself? Would you like something else? Oh, uh, do you have perhaps something more reasonably sized? <laughs> Of course we do, my good friend. Absolutely. Uh, don't you uh, perhaps like a miniature version of the Super Club or uh, something like a BLT? We have got uh, sausage. Uh, you know, we can, you can make something custom if you want. Just let me know. You got anything spicy? Oh, <laughs> my spicy summer sausage with uh, onions and peppers. Comes out in this large, beautiful Italian hoagie. That time. <laughs> hoagie. <laughs> <laughs> Italian? Who's that? Well, obviously, the maker, a uh, great sandwich maker, Italia. Mm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. Uh, My brother. I think it's spicy as sandwich. Oh, right. Absolutely. Now, did you want some, uh, some of that? Uh, I've got some. Special hot pepper sauce I can put on top if you want. Oh, yes. Anything you want to put on there to make it the hotter, the better. Oh, well, all right. That sounds quite doable. Uh, in that case, uh, that would be uh, four copper for, for, for that. Um, did you want something to drink on top of that? Um, you got any uh, tea? Matter of fact, I sure do. Sweet or unsweet? Oh, I'll, I'll take it on the sweet for now. You aren't from around here. No. Coming no, right no. up. <laughs> and uh, as he goes to uh, make the beverages and the sandwiches, let's see what everyone else is up to. Let's see. So, Zakria, you, ironically, um, even though you left first, um, so the uh, folks didn't see you inside, even though you are simply, realistically, about 60 feet away. However, you come into a very similarly sized um, uh, small uh, restaurant. Um, this one's a little different as uh, instead of the, the heavy uh, smell of, of turkey and cheese, um, you actually, there's actually this, this very spicy, um, spicy smell to it almost to the point of like watering um, your, your eyes, but you are Sakria and this does not bother you um, by any means. You have been through much, much worse. And well, you are greeted um, quite dissimilarly um, by this um, actually fairly large um, looking um, human has this um, large, like almost like um, apron on, and you can actually like you're greeted by this like like you're at a barbecue restaurant. You hear like the the meat getting cut up, and um, just that's and that's all you hear as you uh, as you are, as you approach. Um, the menu on the left left hand side uh, actually shows um, the camera writer, which is typically what is. Uh, very famous, um, but uh, you know, also mentions a ham subs, turkey, um, roast beef, etc. And uh, as you approach, oh, you didn't even last week. We were just about to shut down for the evening, but uh, seems that you're the MVP of the evening. What can I do for you? Um, uh, Zakria, as far as she remembers uh, or is concerned, she comes here every Friday. She mm -hmm. she gets her she gets her end of the work week sandwich, goes to sit at home, do the rest of her paperwork, and then goes to sleep. So she's mm -hmm. gonna look at she's not even gonna look at the menu. She'll just go. Uh, I'll take my usual if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I'm, that'll be the I'm... camera writer. You look oh, new. You just you. Yeah, I'm, well, it's, 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 uh, it's not that, it's, uh, you're just really dirty and I didn't recognize you. Fair. Um, it's, the, the weather's terrible. We've been through a rough time. 
figured I should treat myself. Ah. Well, get warm. Coming right up. Many thanks. Can you throw in a little extra hot sauce for me too? <laughs> of, of course, of course, of course. Thank you. Uh, and uh, is this going on the, the kingdom stipend? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm not out for work today. I'll pay for it. Oh, oh, uh, all right. Well, in that case, uh, four cop. Thank you. Uh, of course. You've changed for a gold. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Absolutely. Any time. Yeah. Uh, cut with this clinking underneath and uh like almost like you're at a freaking poker table <laughs> a little bit pretty much. pretty much yeah it's 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 pretty ridiculous but yeah for sure so uh as you are getting ready so um why don't you tell me about uh your rough day so, uh, while i make your sandwich um Unfortunately, portions of it are classified, but the journey oh. back has not been pleasant. Oh, well, my apologies. Well, I'm glad you made it uh, safe, safe and sound. Um, and as you're having this conversation, the uh, kind of door kind of slings, slings open and you see this uh, actually even larger, this like almost like like this like think very <laughs> like bodybuilder type of scenario this um large very heavy um male figure um kind of slick back uh hair is kind of balding up top got this uh bandana that's going um around and just uh looks around sees you in front Kind of waves and just has a seat. Hmm. So Kree's gonna keep her eye on him and take a seat uh, at her usual table. Okay, got it. So you gather your sandwich and then um, have a seat about this point about three, kind of three tables over. Um, You look familiar. Are you uh, one of the one of them uh, the peacekeepers? No. Sorry, you must be mistaken. Mm. I see. Well, someone that looks like you definitely looks like a peacekeeper type scenario, especially with all that click clank. I mean, I work for our king, but I'm no peacekeeper. Yeah, king is a wonderful specimen. Mm. How uh, how happy would you say you are with uh, our king? Just out of the small talk. It gets the job done. Mm. <laughs> uh, even if you weren't someone, you, that's probably a real smart answer. But uh, are you worried about any of these uh, low bro folks immigrating, coming up north? Have you seen me? Are you looking at, hold on. She's going to wipe the dirt from her face <laughs> and clear up her hair a little bit. Okay. The, the fiery begins to like show up a little bit. Yeah, you want to ask me that question again now that you got better look at me? There is no audible response whatsoever. I, I have order. opinions on people not from here. I can't make opinions on people not from here. I'm not entitled to that. I work for mm. the king and that's all I do. And there's just this like guttural like grumble as he walks just past your table and goes to order. Oh. Let's see, Satir. Actually, where's Creep? Where are you? You're headed right to Sweet Pete's. Mm -hmm. So you you are greeted by. 
almost this mesmer, mesmerizing situation as where Sweet Peats and, well, sorry, as Blue Boys and Sheik are known for their no frills, red versus blue, sam our sandwiches are better than your sandwiches situation. You are greeted by the smell of diabetes. <laughs> it is just like the, sh the, just the sugar is in the air. Like you almost choke at one point as you open the door as the, like this, like almost like this crystal, the crystallized scent of sugar greets you as you are there, as you open the, these two large double doors, there is this zigzag pattern um, that typically leads through the, the line. However, it is fairly close to uh, closing time. And uh, as the, you begin to assume walk through the zigzag, um, there is um, on the right side, this ridiculous looking um, caramel uh, that seems to be falling off um, into like like a waterfall, um, and there is like these like small sticks on the sides uh, that say free samples. Um, as you are then greeted near the counter with a uh, a cluster, if you will, of rainbow lollipops and rainbow colored um, de decorum. As this older um, kind of hunched over uh, lady. Um, Kind of spins around, grabs your, gathering your attention. She's wearing this um, actually really pretty rainbow dress that uh, has like this like um, it kind of goes down to her um, to her ankles. Oh, good evening, dear. Uh, it is a pleasure to have you. Welcome to Sweet Pete's. I am Petunia. Um, oh, I recognize you, dear. Um, you you've gotten through your large sack quite soon. You wouldn't be. Oh. You wouldn't be selling. You're selling it off now, would you? No. That gives you. Stolen. That gives you a wink. <laughs> no, it was stolen by some <gasps> stupid goblins. You need to tell me something. And she like grabs this large like cane. Who do I need to comb after? Because you got that fair and square. You know, Ooh, that was a that was a lot of energy. I should not have done that. <laughs> well, I'm here to get more because I really enjoyed it. And my friends really enjoyed it. Um, and one of my friends kind of has one stuck to his hat now. Huh. Well, okay. So, thing is, is uh. Even though I wasn't the one that gave you the transaction earlier, that was Darlin. Um, see, the problem is, is uh, you see, she gave you a bit too steep of a discount and it got her fired. So um, problem is can't really do that again. Um, uh, but, but, however, perhaps there is a, a, an agreement we could come to. Perhaps we could say that in, because to be fair, you didn't get a chance to go through all of that, right? Um, perhaps there is something that you could do for us. Maybe you, we could, is you're a peacekeeper, right? Mm -hmm. What if, what if Sweet Pete could become the official sponsor and then you, give out candy to promote the business and then that will be your well, second go round of this large sack of candy what do you think sure i mean obviously i can't make the decision of sponsor by myself but All right. i think that would be a great idea um okay. and and as long as I can keep coming and refilling my candy. Oh, I didn't, I didn't consider that. Uh, I mean, because I'm going to be giving it out. Oh, right. Sure, sure. Um, yes, there would need to be a continuous agreement. I didn't, 
I didn't, I didn't think that far. Um, okay, so I take, I tell you what. Here's what we'll, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Let's, let's, let's make sure it's a good fit first. Who do you, who do you need to speak to to get approval for such things? Uh, the, the rest of the peacekeepers, I think. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's a good place to start. Um, why don't you um swing by tomorrow, and um. I tell you what, and she she grabs like one of the large like uh, lollipops. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you are with sharing. This is a pretty huge. You could just say that you never got it. Perhaps, perhaps I, I I'm not going to be there. So that's up to you. We'll just start with this as a um a make good for the loss, and then we'll have conversation afterwards. Uh, sure. Um, sure. I'm going to put like four gold on the counter. Oh, be still, my And go through and like pick out my favorite things and put them in, in my bag. Oh, I, well, oh, all right. Well, that's, <laughs> well, you certainly made, made the end of the day that, that much better. It's been very, it's been very slow with the weather being at it as it is. Um, so, uh, yeah, all right, great, wonderful. Well, meet up with your, uh, rest of your crew and, uh, you let me know. Okay. All right. Bye. Satir, where are you heading? So, after Satir, uh, stared longly after giving up Sue. <laughs> um, he would drag himself out of there, knowing that he needs to leave it and leave her. Um, he would slowly drag himself down to the two cats in. Um, one of those, and it would be that Every couple of steps, he would turn and and look over his shoulder and be like, "I, I can't believe a lift. No, it's for the best." And more steps, knowing that he needs to go. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of separation, anxiety. I love it. Yep. Great. Um, and as you are making your way. Um, a bit south towards the uh, Two Cats Inn, which is a bit in the uh, southwest. Um, um, right in the middle, like kind of right in the middle of the, the square and just a little bit southwest. Uh, what's your passive perception? 15. Mm. So even as you, you stop and you know you, you have this kind of conversation with yourself and then you continue you you even throughout the sloshed uh coming from the uh the cobblestone streets as uh the after effect um of this large thunderstorm you feel like you're being watched and you hear you hear like footsteps kind of matching with yours but you spin around and you don't see anyone okay what are you doing um Hmm. Yes, but I, I, I understand. I feel you too. I, I, Mary, I think we might have somebody with us today. Yes, I know Mary. But we need to get to the two cats. Take a few more steps forward and would uh, 
is it still raining or is it is it is it cleared up? It's it's, clear, it's the um the actual rain has cleared up. Um, the only precipitation is underneath your feet. <laughs> okay. As the as the rain is continuing to drain down um the shortly curved cobblestone streets. So you take his hat off and you be like, Bert, I understand. Um, no, no. Sue is going to be taken care of. And as he's talking to his hat, and he would kind of look around to see if he catches anything. Make a perception check. Ooh, perception. Never a good thing when the DM says, ooh. <laughs> uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so you cut across to the alleyway that um, the actual the actual two cats in is about halfway down this um, small uh, street, but that doesn't quite like dead end there. It's about three. Um, there's a actually a few different bars down this street, um, and you actually um, as you stop, you actually hear this like this like second pair of footsteps and then nothing and then you, you spin around you you see like the as the you, sp you spin around you actually see like these two small like what appears to be like footsteps like of like in the water like almost like someone like you know like if you're a kid and you're Gloshing in a way, mm -hmm. but like a little smaller than that. But there's just so smaller footprints than me, mm -hmm. right? Uh, well, not small, not smaller actually. Um, actually, a bit, a good bit bigger. Um, but uh, this is about twenty feet in front of you as you spin, as you spin around, and then you just hear a voice. Ah, fuck! I've been made. Shit. Well, no sense in doing this anymore. And you see this large cloak <sighs> appear and you actually see the very, uh, well, fairly familiar, I'll say. <laughs> fairly familiar. Um, this male halfling uh, with uh, covered in like this red leather armor um, you recognize this as um, one of the uh, three um, that identified themselves um, shortly after your, um, your you and your party left um, left the castle, and uh, he's carrying this large quarter staff. Mm. Wow, well spotted. Um, this is a bit awkward now. This is a really bad time, my friend. This is really bad time. And not a good time to be picking anything up with me. All right. In that case, uh, then I'll just, we'll just pretend this didn't happen. How's that so? Yeah, but, but, but Mary and Bert are telling me that I should hurt you because Oh. You are the one that has been following, and and you, th I believe you are my one of your friends are the one that threw an axe at me earlier, and you know. Yeah, that was a bit. It was it was a bit forward. You're you're right. You're right. You're right. That's very true. That's very very true. Um. So, I'll tell you what. I'm. Is there anyone in the streets with me right now? You with a dirty twenty. Um. There, there isn't in this particular area, um, but you, you are not far from the two cats in. You're about like solid 80 feet. Um, and there, around this time, you're very familiar with the kind of the comings and goings um, of the two cats in. Um, it is probably fairly full. Um, so you get the sense that, you know, any sort of noise would probably be heard. As as I'm humming, I'm like, I'll tell you what, my friend, as I'm talking, the blue is starting to pop up 
from my waist. I'm, sure. My friend, you better not be here when I count five, or I don't know if I cannot make much. Let's just say I'm not a very quiet friend. And like he, like plays, plays like in a very like play me off keyboard cat. He just bows and backs up and runs. I know, Mary, and I have my axe out. I go, I know, Mary, I shouldn't have let him go. But I don't want a fight right now. And the blue is starting to get higher. I can't hold back, and there's too many people around. Make a wisdom no. saving throw. Okay. Damn it. I was kind of hoping it would fail. 21. <laughs> All right. Your better judgment taking over as your orcish fire beginning to hit you right up into, into the neck as the lightning as you saw your way through this experience. Yeah. Yes, Bert, you are right. I should go have a drink. That, that will make it better. Mary, later. And I go to the two cats in. All right. Spinning around, you open the door to the two cats in and immediately greeted by a cacophonous roar of people. This place is absolutely crowded tonight. And I, uh, I opened the door a little too hard. Okay. <laughs> Well, that's uh, that's Satir's entrance, everyone. Peacekeeper Satir is in the house, and there's just like the smattering of like golf claps. <laughs> there's still a little half glow going on, and I'm still half gritting my teeth. Yeah, there's like, like a little little bit of eye, like everyone's just like, what's going on? My friend, can I have a private table and oh, a course. drink oh uh, uh, please as always uh well how stiff tonight would you like would you like the jeffrey everyone's it's kind of a jeffrey type of night with the with the, the thunder and all that going on so i'm just you know I, you know i'm just i mean i'm not peer pressuring or nothing but uh just up to you i i'll tell you what uh, let's do a jeffrey and a really deep pour of something stout Oh, of course, of course, of course. And uh, the, and he begins to make the Jeffrey in as you uh, see the liquor being poured, uh, that familiar liquor smell um, as he claps his fingers and it <laughs> goes on fire and passes it to you for consumption. Boom. Boom. And... <laughs> And uh, do you also take your your stout as well, or uh, I found that as no, mm. I found that one as well. Mm. And okay, I, uh, and an ale in the private table, please. Oh. I, my friend. Oh, of, co of course, of course, of course, of course. Seems like it was an interesting day for you too. Uh, I'm almost out of Jeffrey supplies. It's going to be an interesting evening. And uh, he kind of comes around and um, makes sure to give you um, one of the many famous tankers that you know, that you uh, love uh, <laughs> and know very well. Um, and as you you have a seat, the Jeffrey begins to make its way into your veins, so to speak. Make a constitution saving throw. Sure. 18. Natural 20 for a total of 22. And uh, you kind of feel it? 
and then once again becoming a familiar sensation, everything subsides. And uh, your entrance now coming down an octave, if you will, the folks that were looking as you sit, you sit at your table, they begin to get back into their, their machinations, if you will. Sure. So, so I, as I sit at the table, I sit Mary in one chair and I sit my hat next to her. And I have a conversation with my hat in my ax. Under whisper, so no one else can see it or hear hear what I'm saying. Okay. The uh, the loud mouths in the crowd um, drowning you out completely as you uh, have a bit of a internal external conversation about the current machinations of what's going on as you await your um, your comrades. Yes. Speaking of comrades let me switch to something a little bit more appropriate um do, 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 do. where did it go where did it go that was the wrong one cool so horus and rilo um by this point you are greeted <laughs> with this enormous Rilo especially, but Horace, you are nearby. This insane amount of meat, cheese, condiments, and bread. Well, my friend, you have 30 minutes to scoff your way to victory. Are you ready? Um, Can I save my dragon? No, 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 no. Mm. It's just you. Okay. I need to get my dragon a sandwich, but okay. Um yeah, I'm good. Do this. Alright. And he just goes three, two, one, go. <laughs> And you begin to, it is an absolute mess completely. Um, you are beginning to get covered into the, just the ridiculousness of the sandwich. Nom, nom, nom away. And uh, as you, you get to about good, what would be an app, like an actual, like normal size sandwich full. Um, and you begin to get a little full. I want you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Constitution save. Oh. I'm not fishing that, so let's see what happens. Um, that's not good. What's happening to me? Oh. Okay. It's not going to pop up on my 20, I think. So that's 11. All right. So fortunately, that's fine. As you you find that second gear. <laughs> Actually, why don't you tell me what it sounds like? <laughs> <clears throat> it sounds like... <laughs> Yeah. Totally just spit beer out of my head. Why do I say that? <laughs> 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 it does. Fun fact beer up your nose really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, go ahead and so, Horace, are you doing anything during this, this absolute He's, madness? I mean, He's kind of like slowly eating his sandwich out of the side sure. of his mouth, but meanwhile, he's, his mouth is mostly agape as he's just w watching this in an almost like, like fascinated horror. Uh, <laughs> All right. I didn't believe he could do it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> At this point, you were getting up, you're about a third of the way through. 
um, as you are getting to about the um, the eight or nine minute mark. And uh, this is typically where things begin to get real serious. So let's see what you can do. Make another Constitution saving throw. Dirty 20, okay. So you f you get into that next gear. Going, give me, give me another. Uh, I'm gonna put my drink down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'm getting lightheaded. Perfect. So getting into, you are getting towards the halfway point at this point. It is, you're trying to feel confident. You are getting into the home stretch. You feel this like pulse. And you feel the earlier portion begin to disagree with you. When you push through and continue on. I, I didn't think that this was, I, I, to be honest, I didn't, I, I was expecting, I was expecting this. this, this. I am definitely yes, gonna have the runs later, okay? <laughs> as you continue on Horace as you are just slowly making your way um, there, there is like you begin to see Horace especially you begin to see a few folks begin to kind of peek in hearing the om nom nomming from your small petitfling friend slash acquaintance and um there's kind of like a murmuring coming from the crowd as uh, as you continue, you're beginning to, get, to feel the, it's beginning to, to get quite full. Or you're beginning to get quite full. As you continue, make another constitution save. Mm. Okay. Shut up, really? <laughs> that's that's fucking great. So, give me the sound again. <laughs> yes, literally the little engine that could. As you, you are getting there. You have you are getting to the finish line. You have about another five or six minutes worth of time left on the clock, if you will, but you are hitting really, really hitting a bit of a wall. You are, you are full. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna get you that free sandwich. So at this point, Horace is like picking, like there's pieces of sandwich everywhere and it's right. like almost done, right? So he's like picking it up and like grouping it together and then like giving it like gingerly toward his mouth and then like backing away. Like it's yeah, like, nah, right. Nah, nah, nah. Don't, not, wanting to, not wanting to get hit. Yep, exactly. <laughs> for sure. For sure. All right. Make another constitution save. Okay. Last one, perhaps. Okay. Right. He sees really high though. I'm going to try Oh yeah, I forgot to do. This is mm. a ten. Oh no! <laughs> so you um nom 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 nom, and you, at, at, I mean, and you having gotten right through that previous wall, um, Horace, you're actually be getting. You've never seen a petite flu. You 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 probably more wondering, man, do petite flu sweat as as. Flop sweat immediately appears, and you're just like, oh, this is getting serious. Um, and uh, you're beginning to feel the rumbling coming from your stomach. I don't uh, think this uh, is mathematically possible. The people on the wall disagree, sir. I'm 
I am much smaller than other people. Um, I'm gonna keep eating, even okay. if I throw up. All right. Give me another Constitution saving throw. So, at this point, how much time does he have left? He's got two minutes left. Okay. Horace is going to, like, see him slow down, and he starts, like, kind of shoving it at him. He's like, no, no, don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Are you, are you trying to use the help action? Is yeah, I'm the to help. <laughs> sure. Make it constant with, with advantage. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> This is like Dumbledore and Harry Potter. Just, you know, Harry's just going to keep giving Dumbledore that juice. (laughs) That's 17. 17. No, I don't want it anymore. Nope, you got a drink. You get it. (laughs) So, Chorus, what's your AC? Oh, (laughs) jeez. I believe it is 16. Okay. Yes, it is 16. So... So, projectile um, at me. <laughs> yeah. So, projectile. Let's see. So, um, Ryler, roll a d20 and add your charisma modifier. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Actually, no. Um, Dex. Sorry. Okay. So I'm seven nineteen at the end. Because it is a it is a ranged a ranged attack. That'll be, that'll be an eighteen. An eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> oh boy. So as you 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 conquered wall after wall after wall, and as Horus is shoving this ridiculous monstrosity into you. Your body, you can, your body, your stomach, unfortunately betrays you as you begin to, as you spew half-eaten sandwich (laughs) subs all over Horace, completely covering him. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, does it still count if he doesn't keep it down? It does not, unfortunately. That's not how it's revealed. As, oh, unfortunately, <laughs> you are unable to continue, but it was, it was a, a worthy attempt. A worthy, worthy attempt. I have, like, three bites left. That... That is true, my little friend. But then you showed us about 13 or 14 additional half-eaten bites. Yeah, I am, I am two foot ten, okay? I weigh 70 pounds. That sandwich was 35. I, you know, by the transit of property, I shouldn't be able to eat that. <sighs> I will say, you should be very proud of yourself. And I tell you what, what we'll, here's what we'll do. Um, if you clean first yourself up, and then this up, I'll, 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 uh, I'll take, I'll make sure that your, your friend sandwich is, is, uh, is, is, he looks back at his sandwich, which is now covered in vomit, and he's just like, yep. Oh, my sandwich! <laughs> oh, um, can I replace the sandwich? I'll pay for that. That was a good sandwich. Uh, yes, of course, absolutely. Uh, that was... Wow, I, I must say, that... Uh, I've seen thousands of these attempts over the years, and I think that might be my new favorite. <laughs> oh, wow, that's great. Um, um... I don't know if this makes us even, but I don't feel like I owe you anything now. (laughs) Um, what do you mean? I, I, I don't. Why have you been too owe me anything? 
Um, well, I'm glad you see it that way. Uh, could you get, could you get yeah. this off, off yeah, of me? Yeah, yeah, give me a couple minutes. It takes, you know, I can only do a little bit at a time, but yeah, I can clean it up. It's all good. Oh, the smell. Oh, I, I can't. I don't even know what that stuff is. Like, what is, what is sausage? Oh my God, that is such a weird word. Okay. Um, I think, you know, honestly, like, it's that yellow stuff. Like, every time. Oh, oh, mm, I have a really hard time keeping it down. Well, that, mustard? Is that what it's called? Ah. <laughs> oh. It's like, tastes like, tastes like baby did it. Oh, no. uh, the other question is, why do you know what that tastes like? I know what it smells like. I can, you know, <laughs> the olfactory and the, the, the very similar. Right, right. Enough, enough. Can, can you get get, get <laughs> this I am off cleaning of me. you. I am cleaning you. Oh, all you right, know, all right. Prestigious right. station only cleans so much so quickly. <laughs> so, so. Uh, I mean, it's like a cubic foot, you know, so, per action. Well, you, you did, you did good, I, I suppose. I, I really thought you were going to do it there for a bit. I did too, except in the pit of my stomach, I knew I wasn't. At this point, Harry comes back with a small kind of burlap sack. Uh, here you are, my friends. That was a phenomenal attempt. You should be very proud of yourself. Um, I lost yeah. his accent for some reason. I was laughing um, and I forgot his accent. <laughs> I got to try a lot of food that I've never tried before. All in one um, sitting. That was pretty cool. Um, man, this place is so cool. Okay. Um, I hate to ask, but are you hungry again now? I'm not really. No, I'm good. Um. Oh, all right then. I, I think, uh, so we got your sandwich, and we got your replacement sandwich, and uh, how much was his replacement sandwich? You know what? Don't worry about it. You are really too kind. Is is there anything I can do for you? You um hmm. I don't know. Well yeah. uh, I mean I, how do you feel about my uh my competition? Your competition? Um points yeah. out the door. <laughs> Yeah, well, Zakria loves them. So, you know, like, they're not going anywhere because she will fight to the death. Um, keep that mm. place open. Um, but I, I like, I like this place. I like the color blue, as you can see. I like blue. Um, of course. Of course. And... I don't know. I mean... I don't know what a pita is, but it sounds weird. It's pretty weird. I mean, it, it, but it's not difficult. It's just, it is what it is. Even if it is all over the table. I, I, I told you. Um, all we had was slip. So... <laughs> Not a lot of uh, choice in. Is, that, uh, is there like a is there like a uh, uh, a recipe for this uh, this slow business? This would be mm, interesting because I have they, to imagine with the. I'm not sure how they make it, um, mm. but they put it in these in these cans, you know, that they can keep and it stays for for ages. Um, but it's like basically whatever meat they can find and whatever vegetation they can find, 
And it's all kind of amalgamated together. I see. So uh-huh. you mean to say, oops, that's too loud. Um, so you mean to say, I'll tell you what, this is something that I need to know because this could help with the old competition situation. Because as I'm sure you're aware, uh, the bridge is about to be repaired as part of the dissolution um, of the war efforts. So, Wait, what? Um, the bridge? Yes. So you're not aware. I was not aware. Okay. Yes, in a few days, it should be ready to go. So you were talking so, about the um, competition. Oh, you would like to know how to make slips so that you can maybe sell it to all the low friends who are going to be coming out there. Bingo. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's only because what I assume is that we will have some new low bruff folk, which I'm totally fine with, coming into Jayville. And so I just want to get ahead of the game. Especially if they're like you and don't know where Turkey is, which is already strange enough. I, I really don't know what Turkey is. Um, okay. Yeah, I can... I can show you. I... Uh, I can't describe it. It's weird. But, yeah, um... Sure. I'll help you with that. That'd be great. All right. I miss, I definitely miss the slurp. Well, you I won't have to miss it for much longer. Stuff. Yeah. Perhaps we could. So, you know what? When you come back, let's have a. Because. It feels like you, I think you were doing, must have a bit of a disservice. It is a very important condiment, as a matter of fact. So I would, I would argue What's that the it's the things that are assisted to, you know what? It's fine. Wow. I, you Lobra folk, I have a lot to teach, I suppose. Which, if it's any consolation, I am looking forward to. Oh, Especially yeah. if I can beat those assholes across the street. Pardon my, pardon, pardon my, my speech. You know, if they were really assholes, I don't think that Zakria would put up with that shit. Um, and she does that like every day. Hmm, I know. Rilo, uh, I do believe our, our sandwiches would get cold. We wouldn't want to give Will oh. Street a cold sandwich now, would we? Will Street! Oh my god, I forgot. This is all for work. Okay. Uh, this okay. is this has been a stimulating conversation, Mr. Harry. Uh, here, here's some uh, uh, something for your trouble. He gives him a gold piece. This is a mighty fine relationship we're building right now. So, uh, all right. Uh, sorry, it's about closing time anyway. So, um, well, until next time. You have a good night now. Oh, I think I'm going to. <laughs> Got a day night with a lovely wife. Oh, here. If you got date night with the wife, let me cast guidance. There you go. How long does guidance last? Let me see. I thought it was like this around. It's a minute. <laughs> oh, it's a minute? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a thought, you know. Okay, it's a thought that counts. Oh, uh, well. Mm. May you, Matter of fact, may you carry the blessings of Dave with you on your date with your lovely wife. Dave. Mm-mm. That's a new one. You little rough folk are super funny and entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, as you guys leave. Why does everybody say that? Well, you must understand, Rallo, you're very different. They're not used to folks coming up from Lobra. Hmm. 
They just find you interesting, that's all. Uh, I'm trying to guess what it's for. Nobody found uh, me interesting down there. Hmm. Well, people find different things interesting, or sometimes scary. But, uh, might want to stay away from too many folk that uh, try to take advantage of your kindness. Mm. Yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with being kind at all. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm just like super naive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go find her and. Um, oh, and, and here's your replacement family. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, Vomit free. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) And as you all walk down Um, the familiar cobblestone streets, um, I believe you would be the first to arrive at the the Two Cats Inn, unless there is something else you would like to do before that? Um... No, Wur is just currently trying to figure out how to eat a lollipop with a beak. Okay. Um, <laughs> just kind of. I'm not really sure. I don't really think that birds have tongues. Oh, birds have tongues. They do. Tongues? Yeah. 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 So yeah. she's like. I think it'd be like super easy because you could chop on it. Like the owl in the commercial. But you're not supposed to chomp on a lollipop. <laughs> That's not uh, how lollipops work. <laughs> uh, but you don't know that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm just like carrying the bag I had that I grabbed with the, the gold pieces and over my shoulder and then with the other hand. Okay. As you um you make your way down that street, um you Suddenly, there's a, a, a voice. Who are you? And then a moment later, where are you from? Uh. What is your purpose? I don't, I don't know. Well, my name's Wur. Um, I'm from here. Um, I don't know what I have for what, the, what my purpose is. Uh, who are you? As you reach out into the ether, asking for some sort of response. <laughs> Suddenly, darkness takes your your vision. And for some reason, whatever is in front of you is no longer these cobblestone streets that you're familiar with. You begin to hear this small, pun intended, whir- whirring. And then just these And you flick, you flicker open your eyes, and you're seated on this large, um, like platform. Then it's strange. You don't think you've ever even heard this word before. The word train comes to mind as an actual train comes into and you see a small sign to the right and it says Duval train station but that doesn't make sense what's a train what's a train station and then suddenly you hear A 
as you look up, the sky opens up and you see these small purple energies that seem to be some sort of matching, some sort of what you think to be a portal as <clears throat> this large meteor appears in the sky and connects about 300 feet in front of you. <clears throat> as another explosion takes you. As a shockwave just emanates completely, your vision goes white completely. And then you see in that stark white, after that stark white flash, the number two in this strange red font. And then another number, a zero. Then the third, two. The second two. Mm -hmm. And then another. Another zero. Finally, two other words. This time, not, not visual, but audible from somewhere. Destruction. End. Lavos. Eternal. And with another flash, you're right in front of the two cats in. And that's where we'll take our break. We're, we're, before we take our break, we're is just going to like sit down in front of the entrance. Okay. She's just not going to move. She's just going to like sit down okay. right where she's at, in front of the door. Wonderful. Dang. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well. As we gather ourselves, um, and you know, go and change our pants, um, <laughs> we'll be on break. Uh, we'll uh, be back here in about ten to fifteen. And in the meantime, uh, we love your faces. Thank you for joining us. Mwah. See you in a few. And... See you in ten. Oh my gosh, I was so sick. Jesus, <laughs> that sounds. Awesome and terrible. I don't recommend getting the cinnamon bun ice cream because the dough really messes with you. <laughs> and we're live. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we are. <laughs> Thanks. Nice. I thought you were totally kidding. <laughs> I, I thought I'd pull a Quinn. Um, and <laughs> well um, done. Well done. Well, if it makes everyone out there feel better. We ended the first half of our session with ridiculous tragedy. We had a break full of ridiculous tragedy. And now we're picking up from where we left off with additional ridiculous tragedy. So all that being said, Worst Greed, as you find yourself fallen, not fallen on the ground, but seated um, in the middle of the street, just to the right of the... Uh, just outside, I should say, of the two cats in. Let's see. So from a speed perspective, uh, let's see, Satir is already inside. So uh, Zakria, you would be making your way up shortly after this point, um, uh, seeing your avian friend on the ground. Or, where? Hmm. Are you well? Is there no seating inside? What's a train? 
Um, you, well, it's a group of wagons usually. And it's, um, uh, why? This one was metal, and then there were large red words. Well, no, the words the words were words. Then there were numbers, and and there was a big metal thing in front of me. And where, I, where, where? Slow down. What is going on? You just went know. to go get candy. Did you eat too much? I haven't eaten anything. She holds up her lollipop. She has not been successful in eating it. Okay. Um, what do you want to know about trains? This is a... Or have you... There was a train in front of me. Like in the street? No. I was on a platform, and then there was this big metal train in front of me, and it didn't look like the regular wagons. It was, like, made out of metal and had these really fast, like, wheels. And it, like, stopped... Uh, there were like it was on this 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 thing and it stopped in front of me and and here or were you there's no it's not here Um, anymore no um I don't know where I was I, I was somewhere there was a really, it was a, like, it was black, and then there was this, and then it was really, like, it flashed white, and there were red letters and, and numbers and words, um, and then there were, uh, floating orbs, um, and, um, Did you have a, a vision? A, a meteorite, and, and then A I, meteor. Yeah. And then there were more words. Are you prone to visions of this sort, or are you? What's a vision? You... Uh, um. Do you pray to anything? Do you have any divine inclinations? Um. I mean, I guess. You're a monk, I after all. I, I guess I do. Um, but but I'm a shadow monk, so. I don't really pray to, like, meteorites or anything. No, no, but you're... So, as far as visions go, if you follow a deity, for example, most of... Most places follow the Platinum Dragon. It's... Yeah, I... I do. The deity will bestow knowledge upon you in inopportune times, and that's called a vision. So, Kareem, um, make, um, make an intelligence check. Yeah, yeah. By the way, I just looked at my stats and realized that my intelligence is an eight. <laughs> awesome. The Kareem got a 15. 15. So, as you're having this conversation and hearing just this, you know, the distraughtness coming from from um, from War Street, um, your 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 mind travels just a, just a tad, and you uh, you think about the Seaside District, and as you have um, as you essentially you and your crew here um, eliminated. Um, the denizens of the cathedral, which led to the peace that you currently um, are uh, enjoying, if you will, um, be that as it may. Um, you do remember that the all of the underneath and the, the actual like literature and um, has made its way into this um, several different buildings um, to the different deities that. Uh, folks um, tend to worship um, in the capital. Hmm. Well, it's late, but perhaps tomorrow we can go over to the Seaside District and figure out what you saw. There's more knowledge on religion out there. 
If it is okay. indeed a deity giving you these visions. Maybe. This could be a dead end, but it's worth looking into. You look distraught. Do you need anything? I didn't know where I was. Nobody else was there. I was all alone, and then I almost got hit by a meteor, and there were these blue, no, purple orbs that, like, made this this portal thing. <laughs> you should eat. It's been a while. She's gonna hand uh, War uh, her sandwich. Okay. War's gonna look at the sandwich. Okay. And, like, bite into it. It's very, very, very spicy. Okay. Work pretty good with spice? Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Probably at this point, the remainder of our ridiculous, insane crew have made their way towards the Two Cats Inn um, after a <laughs> pretty ridiculous uh visit to the blue boys sandwich shop were oh where's my i'm voice? still on the ground by yours your voice yes i, I haven't gotten it yet. I, I got I'm a sandwich up. for you um, and i had to throw up on horse to get it why um well i mean i didn't have to but there's a challenge! You need this giant sandwich that's like as big as me! And if you finish it, it's free. And then the sandwich I was getting for you is gonna be free. And then another sandwich would be free. And. Um. You guys sound like you had quite a day. I was three bites away. And then Impressive. I threw up on Boris. Um, so I had to replace his sandwich, but the guy, so nice, gave me your sandwich for free, and Boris's replaced the sandwich for free. I just gotta, like, go back and explain how to make slurp. You know, whatever. Well, I um, haven't had that in years. I know, right? The crap. Hmm. Did you know that they're opening the bridge? Yeah, that was part of the agreements, I believe. Yeah. When Isn't we... that why you were here? I'm sorry? Isn't that why Rilo was here? Is so we could they could figure out how people were going to re react to Lobra folks? Um I'm not sure. I just know that as a result of our peacekeeping, so to speak, uh, we, since we bridged the gap between the two nations, bridging the gap literally and figuratively, the bridge completion is part of it. Is there going to be a train? I mean, I'm sure caravans will come by. No, like a metal train. I don't know what you mean. She's been out here. She's going to look at Horace and Rilo. She's been just sitting out here in the rain. Distraught. <clears throat> Do either of you know anything about visions of a metal train and, num and numbers and meteors appearing? I don't know, Dan. Do we? Never heard of the sort. What's a train? I that, I'm, yes, I'm stuck on that as well. It's a caravan, but she says it's metal. Metal? It's a... My um, Lobra wait. days, it was it was just a term we used for keeping in one line in the caravan. You made a train. And that song. Sean, I think you're muted. There's a locomotion. Oh. I don't even know what that meant. I don't. I'm not sure. It's all. Hmm. Because we all know Callie Minogue's from Lobo, okay? Well, 
contemplating this in the rain will do nobody any good. Let's go inside. Um, well, the sandwich is huge. We'll figure this other stuff out. Sean, you're really quiet. I can hear you, but you're very quiet. No, you're muted now. Oh, you're gone again. I heard it for like two seconds. Yeah. Did you? Now, Let's switch microphones then. There you uh, is. Hey, there you is. Indeed. I was saying, Dolan, are you all right? My dear Wesley, you do seem to struggle. There were letters or numbers that looked like they were made out of blood and, and, and this fancy writing. I don't remember exactly what writing. Um, Inside. That was really my main main focus. Uh, they have the good food in here. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go inside and we'll talk about this. We'll get together and say, I bet, um, um, I bet the tour is here. And he probably has said everything he needs to say. By now. Didn't you just finish throwing up on Horace about eating too much? Well, that was gross stuff, because they put this nasty yellow stuff on there. Oh, mustard. Uh, you get used to it. What? No. Uh, what? Um, but they have that chips and uh, fish and chips and the chili. That stuff was really good. Okay, so let's go inside. Yeah. Um. And, um. Uh, Rao will reach his hand out to where? Like, I come inside? We can eat together? Sure. Okay. I'm sure. Uh, Oh, you're gone again, John. <laughs> Poor guy. Maybe we'll just have you write that down and we'll, we'll forget all about it. All right. Um, oh, all right. Oh, that is the thing I I forget everything. Hmm. I know I've had some disturbing visions myself. Not of any metal trains, though. Uh, that's that's different. But I, I don't like to linger on them, I understand. Hmm. So, so as you guys are having this conversation, the door to the bar opens. And um, you see this um, fairly tall um, half-elf that is, um, it's kind of strange because typically, you know, half elves are fairly, you know, effeminate. But this one in particular is, has this like really like kind of squelch looking, almost gross kind of face and um, just kind of has one, um, one eye kind of open. And um, as the oh. door opens, and uh, he's actually wearing this like purple, uh, like, like um, almost like a large robe, um, but like this actually the outer like look of like a what appears to be this small kind of business suit. Um, excuse me, uh, peacekeepers. Um, excuse, sorry. You know, part good, good to make your acquaintance, and uh, goes off into uh, and just past all of you to the. To the left. That was weird. Anybody catch his name? They didn't get it. Yeah, hey, uh, I noticed that myself. It looks like my old friend Larry. I don't know. Larry. People have been odd lately. I had a lot of questions while I was at the Sheiks. Did anything happen like that 
at the other place. Yeah. Um, that's just the one that ate a sandwich. Um, what kind of questions? Hey, actually, hey, uh, hey, uh, what, one thing. Yes? Yeah? Y'all are the peacekeepers, right? How could Kinda you like, tell? He's like, he's like, he's like stumbles back over. And uh, as he gets a little closer, you can feel the, the liquor on his breath. Yes, how can you tell? Well, <laughs> we're in the armor. <laughs> it's... it's very anyway. nice space. What would you like? An autograph, something? Uh, n- no, I, I just wanted to know if you actually thought that this peace keeping is actually going to be peace. You think this is... <sighs> this is going to be... Permanent? It's more, I don't want my family hurt. You know, we've been through a lot. As have we all. Nothing is ever permanent. We will do our best. Who's closest to the door? We're probably, I don't think she's gotten up. Ah, snap. (laughs) (laughs) Well, she's, well, who's standing? Closest to the door. I was holding Lur's hand. Okay. So, right on. Um, you actually um, kind of see him kind of stumble forward, kind of by accident, and you see his hand, like that. Um, what if you expect? You know, you kind of probably recall a bit because you're like, ah, oh, personal space. As you see his hand pass right through your both of yours. Um. Oh. Um. What? <clears throat> Are you not here? Are you astral projecting? Are you like some kind of freaky dicky celestial or something? Make an arcana check. Oh. I will continue this uh, ridiculous mess with um, being a dealer. I don't know. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't think I did anything. Um, It'd be a distraction. Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah. Hmm. You're familiar with the, the way that that behavior typically works. Wh- whatever this is, that's probably an alter self spell. Ah! Ah! Illusion! Cool. Um, An wait. illusion? Yeah. Well, I believe that's my time. Um, I believe... Lucre is going to cast Command. Grab. <laughs> oh, 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 shit! Okay, so, 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 Horace, you, you actually reach in, well, let's do, let's do both of these things. They do, so, do. Make, make a, make a, uh, make an athletic step, first of all. Okay. Actually, it won't matter. <laughs> yeah, you roll like a one. Yep, I'm oh, gonna man. have him roll with disadvantage because he's drunk. But anyway, so you just <sighs> grab him by the shoulder, and you actually feel your shoulder <sighs> like just go like a, a, about a about three inches deeper into this fur, and you cast command. Um, I did. What do, what do you say? Halt. Hmm. It's a 12. I believe that fails. That's a wisdom 15. Uh, 15. Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's a great, great call. I'll be right here. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, 
Now tell me uh, exactly what the hell you want with us, you and your posse. Oh, uh, 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 no, 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 no posse, Marm. I don't know what you mean. Drop the spell, please. I'd like to talk face to face. I can't take you seriously in this visage. I don't feel comfortable doing that. Dispel magic. We don't. <laughs> oh shit! Okay. We don't feel comfortable with you following. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, damn, that was. I've already got my hands on him. I'm just like. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, yeah, it's a first. Yeah, it's a first level spell. So you just so essentially like in real time you grab him and just as he looks at, looks around and you see the very tall visage of a bugbear in the middle. Oh, of good! Shit. It is fur. <laughs> I don't. Good. You kind of, he's getting to like look around. You can kind of feel he's getting to kind of um, panic. Um, he's gonna try to break. He's gonna break your grapple. How long does that command work? Uh, no, it's, oh, it's, just, it's just one. It's just, yeah, it's just one, one round. Just one. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, so that's why he's gonna try to break your grapple. Um, okay. So uh, let's start with that first, Horace. Sure. Uh, roll what? Strength. Uh, yeah. Athletics. Athl athletics. Okay. All right. That is a dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. And you're just like, mm -mm -mm, nope. Um, and uh, calm emotions. Um, I... It's a charisma save of uh, uh, um, After. Um, yeah, it's a, another 12. And you kind of see me kind of like just slump over. Eyes bloodshot with drunkenness. Mm -hmm. hmm. I feel a little better. Good. But, uh, uh, I, I don't know what, uh, um, I got I still got to get home to my family. We, uh, I guess you could probably gather we're not from around these parts either. Well, we won't kill you if we don't have any reason to. Mm. I believe my, my, if, if it if it helps my wife and three kids would probably not be okay with that. Don't worry, we'll make sure you get back to them nice and safe. You just play nice now. What you're here okay? for. All right. Yeah. Well, I, not that I'm here for anything. I I live here. I've lived here for 15 years. Okay. We smuggled over by boat. Oh. If you must know. I know I'm my not... life. Yay! Thanks for the red. Look. <laughs> Um, no, it's, 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 you know, it, um, I was, I heard that there's a possibility for a, a better life for my, my kids and uh, we took a risk. What is your name? <laughs> kind of, kind of chuckles to that. Half elf name, um, my given name. The name most folks would know you by here. You've been here for 15 years. You've developed a sona, I guess, with these people. Yeah. Uh, Where I well, can find you. Oh, that's fair. Um, well, I go by Trailer Mirror. Now, do you know anything? For 15 years? Every day. Mm -hmm. Do what you gotta do. That's. I, I shouldn't have asked. I should. I thought. I even thought about just letting y'all be, but my curiosity. <sighs> I need you to do me a favor and look at all of us and tell me that we're not interested in protecting the citizens of Lobra as well as 
here. I'm not sure I follow. Uh, Zakrina again is going to clean her wa the water off of her face and yeah. just yeah. fix her hair a little bit. Oh, right. I don't know. I'm... Look at my station. She's going to flash her badge. People won't develop a problem with you if you don't develop a problem with them. It's when you have something to hide that people freak out. You kind of see him begin to tear up a little bit. I mean, it's, I've grown to be, uh, if you can probably imagine, it's been a long time. So I've grown to have a bit of a pessimistic attitude about people. That's but fair. But the people here are so nice. Some people suck. I mean, a lot of people suck. Always people that suck, but... Like, How long have you been here, little one? Um, I think just like a few days. He's new. Mm. I can tell. It's written on his face. Is that right on my face again? No, it's a figure of speech. We, we wrote on Horace's face, or does a career wrote on Horace's face? Oh, we, did we? Oh, no, I meant, like, um, that's just one of those things they like to do back home. Like, uh, oh, my God. They all kind of got to you. Trey, we are, we're working toward a world where you'll no longer have to hide. We are going to ensure that your family will be safe and won't have to disguise yourselves out in the public anymore. It's a very guttural, heavy sigh. Um, as your shoulder still is in on his incredibly broad form. Problem is, is today, if I look like this in the square, what do you think would happen? Well, if my guards fear anything about me, they know that if they see any wrongdoings concerning anybody of questionable ilk, they'll take care of it. And that includes somebody minding their own business, purchasing wares and generally being a citizen and then being accosted by somebody who is, for lack of a better term, racist. Yeah. My guards don't tolerate that. I've made that very clear. With all due respect, which perhaps means none at all, doesn't stop individual bias, if you don't mind me saying. Nothing ever does. Gotta make like a duck let it roll off your back. You can only change individual bias one person at a time by being your true self with them. And they get to see who you are and learn who you are. And that in itself change their bias. Because a lot of these biases are brought on by ignorance. Fear. You know, our little friend is right. I, I didn't know much about his folk until I really got to know him. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to see an individual stand out and be bold like that. I, I do think that why you will definitely run into trouble, we'll be here to help you out. But I think that hiding is never going to solve your problem. Ever. Just start small. You know, you've made friends here, I'm sure. Start with a friend. <laughs> but they don't even know what I look like. Does that matter? Well, they know what the the half looks like, right? I fucking hope not. I don't know. I've, th I've thought about showing them every day 
many years. Like, look at me, I'm supposed to be gruff and tough and I'm miserable. Are they really your friends if your personality means nothing despite what you look like? Perhaps. Those aren't friends I would want. They gave a shit about what I look like. I don't, there's I don't... a there's a um, quick fork of lightning, just kind of emanating the thunder falling, following as this conversation continues. I think you've started well. You've made good friends in us. We're good people to have around you. And for the record, the only reason why we stopped you at all is because you were wandering around looking suspicious. You were hiding because... something. People are afraid of what they have, of what other people have to hide. I wouldn't have looked twice at you if you just passed me by. In what I see now. I should have stopped. But if what you say is true, it might be the best mistake I've made. I'm glad you did. And he lets him go. If you have any questions or any concerns, you reach out. We can be found at the barracks. Castle? Yes. Kind of scans. my name. That was again? Zakria. Mm. Warden Zakria. All right. He has this, like, um, now that you see him, he's got this, like, kind of sleeveless blue tunic, um, and kind of matching pants. Um, and actually, what you do see for the first time is that he's completely shoeless as well. Sure, me too. She's fat. Make sure not to, you know, watch out for it in the hot sun. And he will turn and leave. I'm still a halfling, but it's been Um, Horace is actually going to follow him um, for a little bit outside. You being stealthy? No. <laughs> he's just like, he's just literally following him. Okay. Uh, where the hell are you going? Well, I left him without his his disguise. I feel I feel kind of bad. <laughs> He's got to go out here by himself. Oh, you're doing an escort. Uh, something of a sort. You follow him for a few a few moments, and as he kind of stumbles, and you actually you actually like see a few folks pass by and like. And then, like, as they pass by and kind of, like, very much, like, almost like there's, like, a, an escalator. <laughs> like, it's just, like, Ooh! Um, <laughs> you, you, uh, there's a small purple, uh, purple and pink flash as, uh, he becomes what he once was for the remainder of his, uh, walk home. Um, Kind of, yeah, or just kind of look, watching him walk, kind of seeing like, okay, is this guy gonna like fall off somewhere? Like, how? Can I <laughs> sure. So, um, as you follow, he makes his way through the uh, the main center square, um, and you actually see like there's a large sign kind of in the middle, um, and uh, says um, "Fair coming soon." And like right underneath, on the right, kind of uh, this large wooden sign, um, it says five points. And you just hear him kind of, kind of tap it, and it just goes like right through the illusion. And he continues off towards um, the north, uh, straight ahead, almost as if he's exiting. And then he about four streets down, cuts to the left. Okay. As long as he seems to know where he's going and like how, yeah. like is able to hold yeah. his footing. Yeah, 
It was, it was, it was a stumble. Like the stumble when you're drunk, but also like your, you have, uh, what's the word? Um, you're chafing. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what that looks like. Yeah. A little waddle going on there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy self has his limitations. That's hilarious. Okay. You can make your way back to the remainder of our crew. Um, so, Tyr, as you're seated inside, continuing your conversation by yourself, uh, how uh, are those the only rounds you've had? Are you continuing where you left off? What, uh, what's, what's happening on the inside of the old two cats in? I figured that it'd be at least in the time since uh, I've been in the inn, I've probably had at least three or four. Sure. Um, so I've I've gotten quite oh, not quite fallen out of your chair, but I've gotten the the little bit of the wobble going on. Mm. I see. But I'm still sitting in, in the at the table. Uh, mm -hmm. with the axe in one seat and the hat sure. sitting next to it. Sure, sure. And <clears throat> the... This time, kind of, the yeah, and I'm not talking at this time. I'm, I'm just sitting there staring at the hat and the in the axe. Just kind of that, that far off stare that you only get when you have just enough to, to be pondering the world. Just to get there? Sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. So... You kind of continue on the the your evening of silent thought, um, initial conversation, and devolving into that. Um, and eventually, um, this uh, small um, halfling um, female comes over. Listen, friend, you can't have a party by yourself, uh, so. Me and my mates were wondering if you wanted to, uh, I mean, you're a hero and perhaps you could use some, um, some company. Ooh, I see. I turn my head and look over and, oi, aren't you a fair one? I, and, and. I just there's how many of you? Because well, one of me. I don't know if you can see two, three, or four of me, depending on your environment for the evening. But uh, you know, no, uh, no judgment, none whatsoever. But uh, me and my mates over there, uh, we uh, five. Kind of see us over there in the corner playing a bit of bit of cards and a bit of the the uh, the drinky drink. And you actually, she points behind her, and you actually see like uh, a smattering of cards, and then, uh, you know, to the table and uh, and chugs. Um, and there's actually a total um, of actually two and two, two females and, and two uh, males. There, all of them seem to have like similar um, black ponytails going down to about. Kind of past the shoulder, um, and they just seem to be wearing, um, you know, kind of blousey type uh, tops, so to speak, from your vantage point. Hey, Les. So, are you playing cards or are you playing ladder's dice? Um... Well, I mean, considering your, you would be the uh, the new. Um, you could you could certainly pick, uh, or you could join us. Leave it up to you. But there's room for one more, and it sounds like you might be the ticket. Uh, I, um, give me a second, and I'll be over. I need something right. besides. I need something besides the hard drink for the day, night, huh. or what time is it? Um, it's, this point, it's a. Probably about the, the about nine ish. 
but depending on your state of mind, could be five, it could be eight, whatever you want at this point, you get to choose. I, I, I like the way you think, yes, I'd be over there to play some cards or something in a few. All right, okay. Take your time, we'll just be over there. Kind of walks, so kind of bounds away almost, almost skipping. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it is a full, full house. Um, at this point, everyone else makes their way into the two cats in. So you'd see him get up. So tour stands, puts the hat back on hmm. kind of crooked. I put the asses we're gonna Mary, you be quiet. I need to have a good time. Cards are fun. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh! Oh! Come on, come on, Bert. <laughs> Let's go get a drink and we'll go have some cards. Somebody go get him, please. Barkeep! I need another glass and I'm gonna go play cards. Oh. Well, uh, Typically at this point, I would say that that is probably an accusation of over-serving at this point. However, you're a hero, and so I don't think that I can say that. And he just kind of <laughs> slings over <laughs> the uh, the next tankard. Can Zakria try to intercept that? Oh my god, if you would, that would be awesome. <laughs> okay, so so the way this the way this works is uh, on the end there is like a small lane just big enough for the sliding of this this mug. So um, I'm gonna actually say, um, hmm. Can I assist? <laughs> <laughs> intercept or to give, to allow? That's a, that's want a to, great question. I wanna assist the interception with a I want to hand. assist the interception. Oh, okay. I was gonna freeze it with a ray of frost. Oh, oh. dang. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The well, tour is not drinking today. I have uh, a 60 foot fly speed. If we to fly out. <laughs> We're just all tackling the bar. All right. So in that, in that, in that case, I want everyone to roll initiative. Let's see who goes first. <laughs> oh, well, we all know it's war. <laughs> no, it's Everyone's not. Reacting. Oh, no. I got an eight. Hold on. I'll be right back. I'm going to run the. The, I gotta grab this, oh this, uh, this drink really fast. Be right back. Yeah. Oh, 33. <laughs> you got a 20.18. Oh, that's me. Yeah, 16. Eight. Mm. I don't know. Is the tour going first? <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody in the chat? Yeah. Oh, well, thanks, Lucha. Oh, oh. I be hydrating. I do. So, so <laughs> first things first. So, to before, so I don't know if you if you rolled initiative, that's fine. Um, but I want you to make a con save first. Oh boy. What? So, oh, that wasn't the save. Uh huh. Okay. I need um, like twenty one. <laughs> the the orcas blood rises in you. This is your domain. Um, okay, perfect. So uh, twenty five through. Actually, hold on, hold on. I actually have a song just for this oh, exact boy. situation. Perfect. Um, oh, give me boy. one second. Um, let's see if I can find it because it's meant for situations as D and D as this. So, um, there we go. And let me make this the right audio time. Okay. Great. Because it's a little ridiculous. All right. So, um, who, <laughs> anyone get above a 20, first of all? I got a 20. 30, 20? All right. So funny because I was like, I probably we probably won't roll initiative at all this session. Eh. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Rilo is up first. Um, as per usual. Um, 15 through 20. 17. Ooh, 16. Here is oh after 
Horus. Then... Yeah. Then Zakria. And then Worsker, yeah, what'd you get? What'd Worsker get? Oh, she got frozen. Uh, I believe, oh, no! I believe she had an eight. Oh, okay. Still shook up. Um, while wow, that is being resolved. So, um, Rilo, so you see, uh, headed towards, um, Satir's table, this large beverage sloshes on to the, uh, front of the, uh, the table and then is, is just absolutely tossed towards and then with the actual vantage points at, it will come down onto Satir's table. But I believe you wanted to ray of frost that, if my memory is correct. If there's nobody in the way. Yeah. Um in this in this case, there is no one in the way. So um give it a whirl and uh don't roll a one, because if you roll a one, oh my god. <laughs> Okay, let's see what I feel I like you want him to roll over. Um, <laughs> I kind of do. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Oh, oh, that's, um, that's a lot. Oh, it's a side of the Okay, fine. Um, it's a 15. 15? More than enough. Uh, so, no need to really roll of the the damage persuasion you just see it in the air and you just as it turns this strange frozen purplish blue to the ground and you gotta hear the small murmuring ah at that, oh. Zakria is going to look at the bar cape and she's going to go, are you out of your mind? I, um, my, my... Sator, no. You have found far heroes. too much. I didn't want to... I, I felt like heroes, it was... But this could be equated to alcohol poisoning. You do understand that, right? It's still against the law. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Zakria, Zakria going off. <laughs> Do I need to review your license to serve here, <laughs> sir? Oh, no, 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 no. I appreciate no, no. the kindness you've bestowed upon my party, but be aware that while we are peacekeepers, I am still an officer of the law. I would appreciate if you respected that in my presence. And she's going to try to intimidate him. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Whoa. I'm Wurr's gonna do like this behind her. Oh my god! Absolutely that I, absolutely roll with advantage. <laughs> while I, mean, you're, I got you're, a natural twenty, so and so while you're intimidating the barkeep, I will stealth away to look at cards. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Fair, fair. Yeah, fair, I got fair. I didn't roll the other one because I just got a natural twenty, so okay. eighteen. Yeah. And for the for purposes of this, we're not really in initiative anymore because it's coming. <laughs> what is that? A total of twenty-seven. Oh my goodness gracious! That is absolutely insane. Uh so in, in that in that in that case, um, um, okay. So as a matter of fact, uh, you're right. Um, I just uh, perhaps I was a bit too forward and too friendly um, in regards to our uh, fellow friend. So why don't we make um, we'll a take deal. fish and chips. We'll take chili at our table. We'll take mm-hmm. one drink for everybody but Sator. Okay. I will just have water, please. Of and course. And I will overlook this because you have been kind. I uh, indeed, I have been caught. You are absolutely right. It this was is like this is the strike, and it will not oh. happen again. I'm not asking. Oh. And she's gonna oh. smile, and her eyes are gonna glow just slightly. Okay. Um. Oh, see. <laughs> see. Well, see. I was, what I was hoping was that perhaps instead of you know the um the one out of three strike, perhaps it could be zero strikes, and you guys get a free room for them. 
because it is getting late and I know you all live at the castle and it could it would be very late for you when you get back and your friend here of course is imbibed uh, so which is of course my fault thoroughly it is not one of three strikes it is one of one strike you get no well, then, if you make one further error I will have to perhaps turn you in but I don't do three chances people get uh, one and they're done uh, it was for the good of everyone. We appreciate it. Now we're all hungry. We would all like to sit and have a drink. But what about the, not mind. the room situation? I'll happily pay for a room like a good citizen. Okay. Um, well, I guess I should get on the feed. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> he like goes down <laughs> stairs and just disappears for the moment. Zakria is gonna um, just roll her eyes and turn to start scolding Satora and find him fucking missing. <laughs> so, is he playing cards in his state? As you spin around, you hear "Hey!" <laughs> <laughs> to the table. <laughs> <laughs> And like just the clanking of glasses as the uh as the the actual uh for the, the moment before there was the actual uh sounds of the tavern were ha having ceased for the moment as the um as things escalated so quickly uh now folks are getting back to uh their individual uh machinations if you will what in the? He can't be playing cards in this state. He'll lose everything. He's not gambling. Um. Someone just really? please make sure he's not getting taken advantage of while I sort out the food situation. Oh no, Fenway, you got frozen again. All right, I'll be over there. I'll just give me a few moments. Thank you. I will bring your drink. Oh. Thank you. Appreciate that, uh, Commander. The, the worst we want to do anything because you, got, you, yes. fro you froze earlier. I yes, did yes. want to do something. Okay. I wanted to pick up the frozen ale off the floor. Okay. And start like pecking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. So you just. <laughs> just go... <laughs> and it's like this. It's very strange, like weird slush right in the middle, as in it just like snow comes out of, of and you're now covered your beak in um, in what was once um, this very strange um, liqueur. I made a slushy. Ba -da -da -da. So, uh, <laughs> to acquire slushy, right? Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, um, so, so, Satir, did you make is you now seated at the table? So, Satir, my, my new friend, um, I uh, well, you've already met um, one of us as I stall and pull up their character sheets. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> what up, uh... Right, exactly. So, uh, so uh, you've already met uh, Ross Jen, and uh, that's Therese Willa, um, and then uh, I, perhaps I myself, uh, is um, in uh, Irvin, and that over there is Richter. And one main question for you, my good friend, is, as, <coughs> as I should use, Jesus Christ, Ugh. Question for you. Have you played Go Lich before? No, I have not. I have not. Um. Oh, wonderful. Great. Fans out all the cards. Do, 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 do. Like just an absolute, just like really quickly. Do, 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 do. Suddenly you have seven cards in front of you. Now, there are several monsters that are allegedly part of our world, or in some cases, what 
we've heard is this something called the multiverse. Now, it's called Golich because, as an example, and he shows you this strange looking um, undead, weird, in skeleton looking creature wearing robes with this large, gnarled, weird black staff. See, that's right there is a lich. So if I, if you have a lich and I say, hey, you got a lich, you got to help me and you got to give it to me. But perhaps you have, and he shows this uh, large um, cow looking creature. Um, see, now this is uh, a fur bulk. Uh, and if you've got one of those, then you need to give me that too. So any questions? Uh, lots of them could right. I, so I see <laughs> three of those cars right now. It's the... You're you're winning already, and uh, the Biden is a silver piece. I'll buy in for the three because I got three people with me. Great, so three silver it is. Uh, right, and uh, begins to. Uh, First of all, you actually see this, like, uh, you, you kind of try to perhaps fan out these cards. And um, so first things first, um, I don't even know if you're familiar with the thing, but do you have any, uh, do you have any Archfey in your hand, sir? He picks up the first hand. Roll Bird. a d6. Roll a d6? Mm -hmm. Horace behind him is like fiddling with a bit of fleece in his hands. Oh boy. Uh, How far away are you? He's like he's like standing right behind him. Oh, okay. Uh, a one. Okay. You so you do have in the first position um, an archfey. So you have an opportunity here. You could tell the truth. Or you could lie and roll a deception check. But Considering you're drunk, it would be a disadvantage. So, what would you like to do? This would be Horace's hand, or not Horace, but this would be. So he doesn't lie, so he would tell the truth. So Bert, Bert goes. I, Bert, it's your hand. He has one. Right, Bert has one. All right, you can go ahead and. Lay it down. And he'll Lays it down. All right. And he, he grabs it. All right. Now it's your turn. So I look at the hand and Bert's hand. Do you have an Bert's hand? Do you have an arch? Not an arch, but I. Bert says, Do you have a dragon? Who are you referring? Who are you talking to? You. You talking to me? Bert. Oh. Bert. Uh, Bert wants to know if you have a dragon in your hand. Wow. Oh, what color? There is multiple. You have to be a little bit more specific. Bert. Blue. Blue. Ah, shit! Tosses it to you on the ground. Or another ground on the table. Okay. Horace, are you doing anything or? Not right now. Okay. <laughs> He's going to wait. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so then, um, uh, curious, um, you know what? You wouldn't happen to have, perhaps, just off the cuff, one of them, um, the holder looking things, you know, the <sighs> roll a d6. So, are you asking which hand? Because remember, I paid for three Bert, mine, and as far, Mary's. As far as they're considered, it's just you, so <laughs> you don't care. <laughs> uh, he's, he's got three hands. He, so, I picks up his hand. Sure. Uh, he. Mm. Roll a d6 to see if I have it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, two. Two. You do not. So I will deceive and say I do not. Well, no, that'd be the truth. So I do not sigh. Ah. Bollocks. What are the rest of you doing during this? <laughs> Nice. Eating. <laughs> so it's fair, and because at this point it is a few minutes later, uh, you are greeted by this um, familiar blonde lass that has been your uh, your waiter before. Um, um, you remember her by the name of Bonnie, in case you didn't remember. Um, oh, good, uh, good tidings. Uh, I have here uh, one, two, three, six. Six? Six orders of chili fries. Um, uh, six, actually, seven orders of fish and chips. Uh, I actually have a note here saying one extra um, for the big one. Um, I'll leave that up to you who that's going to be. Um, and uh, another seven rounds of stout. Actually, six. Six of stout. Is that a, a, a short tank? No, it's a type of brew. It's you're not mm. familiar with. Maybe, dear, we need to we need to speak to you about the different. One day we'll have to give you a lesson in in, in um in such things. But the water is mine. Today. You can just leave them all on the table. Thank you. Um, oh, yeah, yes, of, 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 of course, of course, of course, of course. And can you uh, tell me the price of a room before you leave? Oh, um, yes, of course. Um, uh, so typically, at the very least. Hmm? Uh, one more time. Two rooms at the oh, very least. Two rooms. Um, how many beds would you were you thinking? One for each of us. Oh, um, all right. I don't know if Devin's back at the barracks. Five beds. So oh. three beds in one, two beds in the other. All right. Well, and all, all encompassing, that would make it about a gold and five silver. All right. Zucre is going to fork that over. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Well, uh, until uh, you can, you know, you're to find me if you need anything. And uh, takes her empty tray and kind of spins it around and walks off. War with her slushy, like continuing to peck at it, is going to walk over and sit down next to Satur and like pick up Mary's hand. So the Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so because uh, the actual booth itself is like full, um, so you, especially with your wings, so you're you're probably like mm, crunched in there. Uh, but you could one one of those like you know like one cheek <laughs> situations. I can pull over. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull over a chair so I don't. Have okay. To. Okay. Uh, where is that? Hey, that's that's Mary's hand. You need to ask Mary if you can play with her hand. I love the door. <laughs> oh no, did we lose Fenway again? It froze. Damn oh, no. it. Ah! Oh, no! Oh, oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You are. All right, welcome back. <laughs> so, yeah. My, my so. response to that, my response to that would have been, Mary's tired. She, she told me to play. Hey. Uh, uh, Bert, do you think? Oh, okay. I, that sounds about right. Mary does go to bed early. I go ahead and play. Okay. Evening, my uh, avian friend. Are you familiar with the rules of Go Lich? Um, I've been watching you play. I kind of get the. All right. Well, in that case, do you have a no? Looks like me, but like way more douchebaggery. Or is this going to start casting minor illusion to make their hands not have what people ask them? <laughs> <laughs> not worse, Greet, because worse, Greet is aware, but Satur. Sure. Satoris, okay. Because he's so, inebriated. So. Now, minor illusion, I believe, is what? 30? It's not, it's not a lot. Yeah, it's, so, like, it's like 30 feet. Yeah. Okay, got it. So, uh, I'm standing like that's, right him. 
Got it. Okay, cool. I got a five. So, nice. Um, so, uh, so Horace, what do they look like now? What do the cards look like? Well, I, I didn't mess with Worst Creed's hand. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So, so um, Worst Creed, roll a d6. I rolled a five. Roll a five. Oh, a five. Okay. It's right there in the fifth option there is indeed this bluish looking gnome wearing a top hat. Nope, don't have one. Go Lich. Make an exception check. Oh, the deception. 24, natural 20. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Stone face. Where's Green showing up? Where's Green's been had a bad day? Show, showing up. What up? <laughs> He's tired of his mother effing trains. Right? <laughs> right? Right? So, just kind of, all you hear is just this like grumble. So, I will say that is there anything that you all wanted to do throughout the rest of the evening before retiring for the night? Yes. Okay. Um, Zakria, knowing that her horse has just been following her around town, mm -hmm. is going to take a second and go to the back of the tavern since she knows people are still a little old about magic. Right. And she's going to uh, dispel fine steed. Okay, great. That's all she wants to do. She'll go back in and finish eating. Okay. And watch very carefully from their table. Sure. All right. Horace, what about you? I do want to have a private conversation with Rilo later. Okay. Keeping that in mind. All right. As Warscreed and Satira are continuing their card machinations, um, I feel like no time's like the present. So if you would like to do so. Um, I'm going to turn to the, the fellow who asked Satur if he had a beholder and go, do you have a beholder? Fuck! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you weren't even playing when that happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, perfect. Uh, that is phenomenal. So, <laughs> Rilo uh, and Horace, um, as you are all seated at the table, um, currently by yourselves, um, with um, Zakria out the door, you do have um, a moment to yourselves. Uh, Horace kind of like he looks over at Rilo. He takes a really big, deep swig of his drink. Oh. Rilo, I I did need to talk to you about something. Okay. <sighs> I I hate to bring this up, but I do feel like you're the only one who's going to understand. Okay. I've been getting these visions, these messages, really, from the one who brought me back. Um, is this your patron? Uh, I, I guess so. Uh, I mean, he, yes, he definitely is, but. I, I don't know. I've, I've never really, really spoken with him much since he first found me. And uh, I must say, he's making me a bit nervous. Why is that? What? You see, he, uh, well, he looks around, he's like, <sighs> he told me to go past those goblins, you see, and go talk to their master 
about getting something which he wouldn't tell me much about but he's getting rather impatient about me going there and getting that I mean, I have reason to believe that, but I don't, I don't know for sure. Okay. Calls um, himself the collector. Have I ever heard that? Um, Dick? Hmm. Hmm. I'm proficient in religion and our kind. Yeah, make a, uh, make a, make a, uh, wh- which one is better for you? Um, Actually, well, I think they're both yeah. the same. Mm, okay. Um, yeah. which, the, well, we'll just say wh- which, whatever one you roll will determine the information if you oh. are able to glean any. So, okay. make it, um, you can make your choice. What would you like to do? Okay, go for it. And that is a 14. 14. Okay. Um, nothing rightly comes to mind. Um, but you also think about how whatever Horus is, has manifested to this point. It feels familiar just based off of your your path, however, much, much darker. But that's really about it. You've never heard of a specific being named the Collector or um, Horace, I don't know if you described what the, the Collector looked like or not. Uh, he didn't. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, doesn't seem to come to mind. Okay. Um... Um, what's the right thing? Yeah. And he is being cagey about what this thing is. And he wants you to collect. Just that it's important, uh, and he hasn't really gotten into the specifics. He said I'd know when I saw it. Okay, that's... Oh no, Jacob is typing. <laughs> no, I was just typing in the chat. I was like, oh no, what's he saying? Like, you'll know it when you see it. That is the. That's the epitome of. Creepy. Chris. I have, I have, um, I have abilities that I was born with, and they come from a, a dark place, um, a dark divine place, and, yeah, it's there, but, I set out to make that Right. And I found Dave. A being of light. And I talk to Dave every day. And never does he hold things back. He doesn't. He's not cagey. 
Castle. Of of the pad right now. Well, um, that's the thing. I'm kind of in a bind when it comes to this here pack. I didn't, I mean, I, I did agree to it, but I, I was a bit um, coerced, to say. I, I do, I, let's say the circumstances that I found myself in were dire. I mean, I'm not sure if if I do manage to get it, I could die. I think maybe I'll try to communicate with him a bit more. I haven't, now that you mentioned it, I haven't exactly asked too many questions, uh, been too fearful. Uh, I suppose I should open up a bit more. Well, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and ask that right now. Oh, oh, if if you if you would not mention this to any of the others, I'd appreciate it. I don't, um, I don't want them having to worry about my problems. They're doing a great good, and I, I don't want them to get in the way. Y'all didn't need me before I came along, and you won't need me after. But hopefully, I'll be able to stick around. Well, you have a lot of it. Good to have around. <clears throat> and this is a confidence. I'm okay with keeping the confidence myself. Up until it affects the safety of our friends. Or, oh wow, I just said the F word. Oof. Our companions are traveling to us. Oh, no, you can't go back now. You just called me a friend. <laughs> I, I think, yeah, you probably definitely are. Um, that's weird. Yeah, yeah. I have a lot of friends. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't take it personally. change your mind if you feel if you feel like you need help right away or whatever i'll keep that in mind uh -huh. um in the meantime I, I appreciate your confidence uh, he hasn't threatened any of our party members but uh if he does i'll be sure to let you know yeah Please, please. That will change the game. That does change the game. Hmm. Well, all right. Uh, oh, Rallo, that's such a funny story. You that's oh, you rascal, you. Oh man, do you believe this guy? Hmm. Um, I mean, you should definitely have some of these uh, friends. They're really good. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what I missed. Oh, hi, Beth. We were talking about how good right. these fries are. Hmm. I was just making sure my beetle was okay. I was just gonna finish these fries. Yeah. And then go have a chat with Dave. 
Sure, Dave. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, I'm probably going to stay until Sator goes upstairs. That sounds like a good idea. It's probably gonna be him. I'm sure that. Where's the connection? This time. That might be what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Why would she be afraid of that? She's not prone to making the clearest of decisions as of late. <laughs> you know, a whole uh I guess, what would you call it? A bushel of candy stolen, fighting a giant bird, among <laughs> some of the things. Well, her candy stolen wasn't her fault. And the giant bird had it coming, okay? Yeah. I'm inclined to disagree. <laughs> candy being stolen was not my fault. <laughs> she shouts over her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, hey! hey no. <laughs> what are you talking about, baby? Hey, and then <laughs> wait, wait a minute, hold on. What do you mean you don't have any bullets? <laughs> yeah, and she then she uh, she'll turn around. She go, don't worry, he'll be going upstairs soon. I'm almost finished wiping the table with these fools. This is bullshit. <laughs> He's gonna shout. That's what you get for trying to take advantage of a drunk man. You're lucky yeah. I don't turn you in. Oh, oh yeah, you're over there talking about strikes and stuff, right? Eh. Zakria's gonna stand up. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. So you see all five of them? They're just like, like kind of like, mm -hmm. like, and like you start to see them like, and especially Worskri and Satir to whatever extent you can even pay attention to anything, um, they seem to like shift almost as like you're playing like the, uh, the, 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 uh, you know, the, the move, the cup game. Yeah. 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 Cup game. You, 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 it wasn't me that said it. I don't know what you're talking about. I, whatever. It was, was oh, you. No, nope, no. That's no issue. Oh no, you can't do that. That's definitely not the case. You don't you have any proof. And I there's only two cards I? in front of, it's a tour. I, I, I don't know what happened. I, I've got two cards. What happened? Oh, don't make me find any proof. Where? You got great luck like Mary. <laughs> yeah, that's what I have. You wouldn't <laughs> argue uh, the peacekeepers at all, would you? No, you of course not. Definitely not any of those things. One and two. No. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. I've got my well, friends. Oh, I bet you do because I think <laughs> it might be it might be time for us to bid. Adieu. Oh, but please finish your game. I believe my oh. friends were doing so well. And then so. did did any of them show their cards? while they were like shifting places or doing any of that? <laughs> oh, that's an interesting question. Make a perception check. Well, I'm gonna grab a beer while you're doing that. Okay. Why not? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that my party likes to cheat so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not cheating, I'm observing. Uh-huh. <laughs> exactly right, we're exactly right. Good on you. <laughs> it's a tourist too intoxicated to uh, cheat. <laughs> it's not Wurr's fault if they show her their cards. No, not at all. It's not. No, I think we're all on the same page here. What observation? All right, what'd you roll? <laughs> That's way, way you look. 14. Um, hmm. You actually see just for the moment, like one, the one on the farthest left kind of just fan out by accident. Mm -hmm. um, and you see this visage um, of um, King Jabu Duvalia, long may he reign. Oh. His beautiful teal undefeated armor. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a... <laughs> 
Why is it like me wrong? <laughs> I'm, such an, I'm such an idiot. Anyway. I, I love it. <laughs> don't mind me. I'm not here. <laughs> so yes, you do indeed see that. Okay. It's and sad, then... but I never noticed that detail. Sorry. So as as they sit down again and get like situated, I'll like just like straighten up in my chair, pretend to look at my cards and look at the the one on the furthest left and go, uh, so do you happen to have a, a, a King J book? How could you possibly? No, no, that's not possible. There's only one card in the deck that is of. And just like just goes purple with anger. <laughs> <laughs> what? Thank you. <laughs> and I proceed to lay down all of my matches. I believe there was a buy-in. <laughs> Clink. You hear the small clink of coins. And um, you come away as the, for the sake of simplicity, as the overall winner, um, as you, uh, in total, it's not a crazy amount. Um, it's like six gold, but but you got that dub. Worst read, undefeated. <laughs> So, as the uh, the fine five um, angrily uh, their uh, <laughs> their plans foiled by uh, your avian compatriot, um, anything else before you retire for the evening? All right. So, I believe we will pick up in two weeks with the return of uh, a orphaned, for the time being, battle axe. And then, uh, actually, I'm going to do this first. So, I've been waiting to do this one for a little while. As you all go to bed, um, I picked out the obligatory RPG in go to bed music. Aww. One second. There it is. Yay! Woo! And that is our session for the night, you ladies and germs. Okay. Um, oh my god, that's so much! <laughs> okay, so oh, I gotta turn man. the voice off. I gotta take this wig off, it's so hot. Oh man, that's a, I'm surprised <laughs> it survived the session. Oh man. Holy shit on a stick. Oh man. It's melting, melting. <laughs> Everyone's taking the wigs off. So, yeah. Whew. You guys didn't let Horsator drink his problems away. Oh, nope. That did not happen. Oh man. Well, we'll see how that plays out and manifests itself in two weeks. Um, so, for those of you out there, thank you so incredibly much for joining us. Um, it has been a pleasure to um, DM with this absolute insane, incredible cast of insane people. Um, I cannot believe how good they are in some case, sometimes, because it's just like, ah, ah, so good. Just, mwah, mwah, mwah. So, <laughs> so, thank you all uh, for being you. Um, it is always a pleasure. So, um, why don't we, let's see, how do I, how do I do this last time? So Sean, you go first this time, my friend. Where can people find you and what are you up to? Hi. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> nice to By the way, um, Jake, you're not allowed to take attention off yourself. You are insanely awesome. Oh, it's great, nice, man. Uh, like for real, real, not for play, play. Not for, not for play, play. <laughs> Um, I'm Sean Aqua, aka No Tweet Sean, aka Obnox Sean on Discord. Um, let's see. 
So Thread Raiders should announce here pretty soon um, our Extra Life uh, fundraiser. We have surveys currently out for that if you want to play or DM uh, with us. Uh, come check I already out. did that. Yay. Yay. <laughs> come check out our Discord. Um, feel free to uh, message me for that or if I can put it, I'll put it in the chat. Um, but that's, that's how you recruited me on this very same channel. Mm. <laughs> um let's see up and coming so september 24th at 9 p.m eastern i will be dming and playing for the first time i guess storytelling and uh playing for the first time changeling the lost uh second edition which will be my first world of darkness game to play and uh Ooh. that's gonna be interesting because oh, wow. the lore for that is insane i've been reading through it right now it's a lot <laughs> I love it, but it's super weird. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Nice, well done. Aren't you playing in a D and D game? Oh, I am. You're right. You're right. I'm, yeah, I was like, I'm not good at plugging. I'm terrible. At <laughs> um, so tomorrow night, um, if you stop by the Friends Who Roll Dice Twitch channel, um, I will be playing on the Mind and the Martyr. I play Soup, a uh, Cobalt Fighter. Um, that is and awesome. He's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yes. awesome thank you sir um and we will figure out what's going on next i think because you are going to be out of the office so to speak next time That's so we will good. uh we will play uh that by ear uh so chris who is crushing it <laughs> as sits here just absolutely crushing it oh, where can uh... we find you on the internet and what are you up to so I'm probably not doing a whole lot because real life is killing it for me, but that's all right. Um, you can find me over on Twitter doing all the signal boosting I can um, at Chris N, plugging everybody's things. Um, I also do a little stuff in the real life, doing some charity work um, at, let's see, it's uh, badlandsdnd.com. Uh, we do a lot of charity work for local stuff. Thank you, Maddie. Look at that lovely shirt he's wearing. Um mm -hmm. We do a lot of in life or real life games, um, plug in lots of charity stuff and let it work. Um, but yeah, it's, and then playing games whenever I can on, you know, Thread Raiders and So Chatty. So doing everything I can. Hell yeah, you rock. So who do I want to go next? <laughs> because it's always really funny to have you plug stuff on your own channel. Maddie, go! <laughs> Oh my God, this is my channel. Um, <laughs> it's an awesome channel. Mm -hmm. um, Can't but, confirm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I started this little channel here. And like, what, what is it now? Like, we're, we're 19 away from 500 followers here. So that's really that's crazy. Um, and, but, you know, we've got a lot of really fun games happening right here. Uh, along with the talk shows and stuff. Um, so this is, uh, buh, 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 buh. I think this coming week, we're pretty quiet. Um, they may or may not. Oh, hello. I that Oh, oh my gosh. What is up? It is Noir Enigma. Oh, awesome. what's up? Awesome. <laughs> Awesome human being. Welcome. Uh, we are just wrapping up here. And, Sorry. Um, and we're plugging our things. And uh, But yeah, I think we, <clears throat> we've got some Call of Cthulhu coming up every other Thursday here. Um, every other Tuesday, we started a Star Trek game, which I really underestimated how much of a Star Trek nerd I am um, and how much I love Star Trek. Um, so yeah, we've got that going here. We've got D and D every Sunday, whether it's Duval and dragons or, uh, right now we have the infinite arcade, uh, which is our retroverse, um, play test for our tabletop workshops. And then every other Saturday is so chatty and, um, hopefully, you know, finding time is difficult with, all the stuff and i play D, D every other monday every other tuesday and every wednesday at soul bear rpg as well um 
which is this week, starting tomorrow, um, with Surrender Your Booty, uh, where I play Steven, um, which is a sorcerer who has like 11 other personalities in his head that come out at random times, and they all have a different class and stuff like that. So I have 12 character sheets for this character. Um, and he mm. is so much fun. And yeah. And then um, Tuesday's Threads of Fate, level 20. Been playing for two and a half years. Um, my once kobold cleric is now a gold dragonborn and actually is a talon of bahamut so um yeah it's dope and then of course uh Tadori world in chaos uh we just had my character marry another character uh it was beautiful and lovely and our honeymoon is going to be um that castle that you the keep that you get in the deck of many things that has to be cleared out that's our honeymoon it's awesome i'm so excited for that um, <laughs> awesome that's so cool. anyway so yeah we do a lot here we have um of course i own and operate so nerdware um we it's what the nerds wear that's where i got this hat that i've not messed up because it's all ridiculous we have dice are still on sale for 4.99 a set uh, don't we tell don't me have that, a, Maddie. <laughs> and, <laughs> and we were gifted by our friend Elsa Punicorn um, some extra dice sets. So every order is getting extra dice, you know. Um, so we're doing that. And then you got the code three sets. If you buy three sets or more, you get the uh, $3 off for the shipping costs. So go hit it up. So nerdware.com forward slash dice. Um, buy the remaining of my dice, please. You know, <laughs> that would be awesome. And yeah, um, commissions and art and things. So there you go. Well done, Maddie. <sighs> I fucking love you. Thank you for letting me do this. It is Thank continues you. to don't wake me up. Thank you guys for doing this. Like. <laughs> Oh, Definitely. I love it so much. This is such a fun game to play and such a fun um, fun thing to host as well. You guys are Hell awesome. yeah. And the crazy thing is, this is only getting started. Right? You just <laughs> wait till you see what I have in store. Speaking oh, so of, of of stores, hashtag so Um uh, No. <laughs> Good plug. Hashtag ad. Oh. All right. Fenway, Ooh, what are you doing and what are you up to? Um, well, I am Fenway. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Fenway the Team DM, uh, or on all of the social media at Jasper's Game Day. Um, I do all of the Jasper's Game Day things. Um, currently, we're preparing for May because that's the next thing we have coming up. That is nine months away. It's it's. A lot. That's um, weird. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, That's other than works. that, uh, I I'm on here every other Sunday for something called Duval dot 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 and dragons. Uh, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, Duval podcast, but yes. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> and damn, tastic. Uh, thank you for letting me uh, blow your mind for a second. So that was awesome because that was amazing. <laughs> um, and last but certainly not least, the official cartographer of Duval and Dragons, Jess, what is up? Oh, hi. I am your resident cartographer, Freckle Sketches, on the Twitter, Instagram, and Facebooks. Um, you find me here every other Sunday. You'll find me on Thread Raiders, on Somatic Games, on just loads of things generally um let's see you won't see me here next next sesh as well unfortunately i've got some uh some unforeseen plans but uh mm -hmm. i will miss you all very very much and Indeed. um look forward to look check out my instagram for um maybe some some little sneak peeks as to what might be coming to duval and dragons next all right oh, man. <laughs> i'm so excited i'm so excited ah it's gonna be so good because yeah. it's like way it's like 
Oh, I don't even know. I don't. I can't really. It's <laughs> it's like it's like way cool. You are just so fucking talented. It's absolutely insane. Thank, so thank you. you for, thank you for for doing this for me. It is it means a lot. And um, yeah, go ahead. it's lit. It's it's literally the least I can do. Like this, <laughs> this is the coolest thing ever. I've always wanted to to do like a live stream like this. Like like this is this is a dream come true for me too. So you know. <laughs> fuck yeah that's what it's about that's what it's that's what it's about and i have been your dungeon master jacob you all king jim on the twitters and the instagrams you can find me yelling about things like football and dungeons and dragons and video games and work and all this other crazy stuff um obviously you can find me here every other sunday 7 30 p.m eastern time um dealing and loving and being I'm blown away by this incredible cast of characters. You, um, you can also find me every Tuesday on twitch.tv slash thread raiders. Um, and uh, where I am um, at 9 30 p.m. Eastern time, uh, where I play Alabar, the ridiculous half elf, half elf, wrong, uh, half orc <laughs> fighter. Um, and something that's actually really, really important um, is the uh, I have I've been doing this three shot called the heist. Um, it's level 15 uh, rogue insanity. Um, it is probably the most I've probably output into the world, so to speak. So it would be wonderful if you joined us for the finale, September the 25th at 3 p.m. Eastern. That is a Saturday. Um, so it is the day before um, Dungeons, uh, Duval and Dragons. Um, I have been completely blown away by the cast of characters over there as well. Uh, so check out how that heist ends because um, it is about to get uh, fucking crazy. So cannot wait. Um, and then some more stuff to uh, to come to Third Raiders. It's not quite officially official, but um, I'm a part of it. And uh, that's what I'll just tease for now. Um, so just, you know, do yourself a favor as we close out. Don't forget to roll down your window or open your door and yell Duval as loud as you can because I have my good authority that it is a good idea no matter what time. Well, let's go over to uh, Featherfall TT uh, and yell Duval over there um, as See? <laughs> our friend uh, Ray from uh, Friends of World Dice is playing over there right now. So let's uh, let's go jump in on that. And let's Ooh. give him some love and butts. Ooh. Oh, like, Bob! Oh. Oh.